The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuck you. And alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Woo! Well, that's a delayed reaction. It is. That, that really was. It, it is. But but they love you, Jeremy. Yeah, they, I know they do. Um, I have one question for you. Yeah. Why in the fuck am I here? I don't know. I I was doing so many other much more important things like not this. Uh-huh. And uh, now I'm doing this, it's, and I don't really care for it. It's like I paid you or something like that. Are you going <laughs> to? I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I wouldn't turn that down. I, a couple of bucks? I mean, Jesus. Yeah, it's like... Yeah. It makes it more tolerable. Yeah. It sure does. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I tolerate a lot of my coworkers in my day job because they pay me. That's the yeah. only mm-hmm. reason. Of course. Uh, but, but we also have uh, the man himself, the 2021 funniest person in Wichita, Mr. Derek Alders. What's up, Munchkin Dick? <laughs> I, I just figured I'd give you that. I mean, I don't know. deserve that. Oh, they're, yes, they're, they're actually do. not applauding for Derek. They're applauding for the use of the phrase "munchkin dick." <laughs> <laughs> they're big fans. Yeah, we actually Jeremy our entire, actually managed them. Yeah, oh, I, I did. I, I managed the munchkin dicks back <laughs> back in the seventies, early seventies. They used to tour with Puss Dragon, mm, right? They sure did. Yeah. That's- <laughs> Okay. Yeah, and that's one of those cases where your feature act outshines the headliner, and then they went on to their own thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. And then they broke up because uh, half of them got fucking uh, hooked on catnip. So <laughs> it, it really got ugly. Well, anyways, we've got an excellent episode for you. This is a, a Fourth of July episode, I think. Uh, well, Actually, well, it's the, a it's second a, of July. Second it's of July, yeah. Well, well, I mean, at least at least when you guys see this, this is going to be like the fifth of that July, sixth. but sixth. Yeah. Oh, okay. Unless you plan to release it a day early, I might. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Did, I, I I can't be more clear about this. I don't give a fuck what you do. <laughs> yeah. I, I sincerely, I don't even give a fuck if you're hitting the record button right oh, now. Okay, this is you're, you got one shot at me on this. Are you <laughs> sure? I'm I've, positive. I've done that before, and I it, know it makes you mad. Yeah, yeah, it did. You fucking, number one, wasted gold. <laughs> Two, prolonged my exposure to you. <laughs> and more, infinitely more important, wasted my time. Yeah, it's true. You yeah. jack Sorry. off. But we I have a, lives to save. <laughs> right, we got a lot of stuff to get over. Uh, we got some sports news. We got the ick, uh, real shit, horse shit, bad advice, overrated, underrated, and questions and preguntas. And as always, a draft and a shitty situation. Uh, before we get on to that, we're going to talk about what happened to us over the last week. So, Derek. Yo. What'd you do? Not a lot. Really? No, this uh, this past week, I mainly just worked. You hung out with me. I was going to say you, you. Yeah, that's pretty much, I like to forget about that. <laughs> oh, is that right? Yeah, that is. Oh, okay. That was kind of one of those weak moments where I was drunk and I was just like, you up? Yeah, that's yeah. that's what happened. He, that's what was that a booty call? Uh, no, I kind of no. sort he, of. He tried to make it, it that way. Like, it yeah. got awkward. No, that's probably why he came. He was expecting. It was one yeah. of the, yeah. it was it was one of those times whenever uh, Derek texts me and he's like, "Hey, what you doing?" And I'm like, "I'm sitting here with my wife watching a really interesting TV show. You want to get me out of this particular situation?" And he's like, "Yeah," and I'm like, "Okay, cool." Hey, honey, uh, Derek's going through some shit. I need to did go. Did you tell oh, her that? Yes, you I did. motherfucker. <laughs> I wasn't going through nothing. 
Well, in all care. actuality, Scotty just wants thigh fucked. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you strike me as the type that just close your legs really hard and want some stranger put his dick between no. your legs. No. Lube no. it up with Crisco. <laughs> no, I'm good. Butter uh, or otherwise. But anyways, other than that, how was your week? Yeah, nothing really but working. Uh, we had a, an overly... You ever see, I know it's the fourth, and you ever see those overly patriotic people? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about, where they just over-fucking-do it. Fuck yeah. Yeah. And there was yeah. one of those guys uh, that had been into my job a few weeks before that that mm-hmm. was just over the fucking top, like screaming at the top of his lungs, like overly overdoing it. So he had come in again the other day, and he had like a country music, some singer's T-shirt on. I'm going to say one, it was Joe Diffie. Might have been. Joe Diffie. Uh, so one of the girls just was like, the first name popped in my head, but let's go with Joe Diffie. <laughs> yeah, hey, Joe Diffie. Wait, maybe do you work with Joe Diffie? No, because I don't think he's doing much right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, so does he, he need new management? He might. I, I, hook I can, me up with this guy. I, I, I will do that. <laughs> but he comes in with his shirt, and she's like, "Have you seen him before?" Oh no, no, I've had to see it. Well, have you seen this guy before? No, no, my sister just got me the shirt, and so then I've got a little thing in the computer where we're typing back and forth and so i just started going on and on and i was like he only likes to listen to people that are country singers that wear stars and stripes cowboy boots <laughs> and i said he's been celebrating the fourth of july since march 8th mm-hmm. <laughs> I said, he eats ketchup mayonnaise and toothpaste sandwiches because they're red white and blue damn right <laughs> every halloween he gives trick-or-treaters pocket constitutions That's, <laughs> he's that kind of guy so I uh, just did some making fun of that guy, and that yeah. was pretty much my week. I, I know you did. Are we are we not talking about what you did the week before? What's that going to vacation? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What happened on vacation? We went to I went to Canada. Yeah, yeah. I had a Boo! great time. Boo! Uh, Fuck you, Canada! Find a big USA! 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 <laughs> Sorry. I hope you went there and just shit. <laughs> That's all you did was just shit the whole time. By the way, uh, this Halloween, Jeremy's giving out pocket constitutions to all your kids. <laughs> so and, make and sure and stop by his house. Joe Diffie's going to be performing on my front lawn. <laughs> uh, no, I had a fantastic time up there. A little emotional. We scattered, uh, yeah, yeah. scattered some of my dad's remains in the Atlantic Ocean there. You know what? I'm not a big fan of the way your dad died the way he did either. I'm not I'm, either. I, 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 I want to say that right now. Your, your dad shouldn't have done that. No, I agree. You shouldn't 100%. have had to go on this fucking vacation. <laughs> but uh, the crazy thing that happened was uh, two days after we were there, my stepmom that went with us tested positive for COVID. Oh, nice. Yeah. So that was fun. We basically, she was shut in her room of the Airbnb that we were staying in. Because they're strict as fuck up there, ain't they? Uh, yes and no. I know for a while, even if you didn't have COVID, you had to fucking quarantine for two weeks. Yeah, just they, told, into the they told her she could fly back Wednesday, which she still flew back Tuesday. She masked up and everything, but she flew back. Okay. Uh, weed is legal up there. Nice. Sure. So uh, I don't do the weeds. Uh huh. But uh, I did. Uh, I Why did not because it doesn't affect me. Uh-huh. And so, but I did try it again. So I went into because the, they sell it in the liquor store. All the liquor right. stores there are owned by like the government or something. So I go in the liquor store. Socialized fucking liquor. <laughs> yeah. So I go in there and I order. Uh, I get a couple, uh, a bottle of whiskey, and my wife gets some wine. And then I was like, I want to check this out because it's like inside the liquor store in that little area. Uh huh. And I was like, uh, two pots, please. And they, they said, well, "What do you want?" I said, "Oh, well, I don't, I don't do this. <laughs> two, two pots. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'll, I'll take two of your finest marijuanas." <laughs> they were like, "You cop?" I'm like, could "No, you, not at all." <laughs> could you roll them into cigarettes, please? <laughs> like, t- two pots are like, "Hey, left-handed ones." You, uh, you a Mountie? No, no, I swear <laughs> <Yeah>. to God. <laughs> Just like you, eh? Yeah. <laughs> so. They had to explain the difference between, like, oh indicas. God. I didn't know any of this shit. And so I was like, well, here's the deal. I don't ever really fuck with it because it doesn't do anything to me every time I've tried it. And he goes, some people have, like, I guess an enzyme that will break that down immediately. And it doesn't affect. It's not It's not common. but it. And so, yeah, that I'm one of those people because I uh, bought two pots. Uh-huh. And uh, <laughs> it, it did not affect me one bit. So You're like a fucking superhero. Right? Yeah. It just doesn't affect you. I would have been the perfect superhero for Nancy Reagan in the 80s. Oh, sure. That would have been God. perfect. That whole dare thing. Were you uh-huh. inhaling? Huh? Were you inhaling? 
I, I, I was eating, so yeah, usually I inhale when I eat. I don't chew. I just fucking swallow oh, the thing. That's whole. how you choke. <laughs> Not me. Maybe that's it. You were choking it all up, getting the Heimlich. Getting, yeah. It wasn't getting in your system. Right. Boy, how that would be a, a fucking dangerous competitive eating, like pot gummies. It sure would. Because yes. all you do is you just keep getting more hungry. Mm -hmm. like, it's the nonstop competitive eating event. That's a question. It's the, a, it's there there the, was a guy that actually said, like, what do you think, other than hot dogs and all the other shit, like, what would you want to eat? Oh, like, pot brownies. Fuck yeah. yeah I mean, it would just be nonstop, I think. You know yeah. what I would like to see? I would like to see something that is not good for the eaters, like, not good for them to eat. Like, not not dangerous, but just not enjoyable. Like handfuls of grape nuts. <laughs> just, no milk. Another big thing that's popular. You just have to eat raw grape nuts. Another thing that's popular in Canada. Grape nuts. Grape nuts, grape nuts yeah. yeah. They have their own ice cream. Those bland cocks. They make ice cream out of it. Of course they do. <laughs> Canada is the only place that could find a way to fuck up ice cream. But goddamn, I am fat, and they got candy down pat. Do they? Holy yeah. shit. They yeah. had uh, Kit Kats, but instead of the wafers, they were like Oreos. Yeah. Not bad, but they had Reese's Pieces that were stuffed with those cookie things. Those were the shit. Huh. Oh, my God. Those were so good. I looked them up on Amazon. They're 15 bucks a pack on Amazon. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, like for a standard two-pack of... No. Uh, or of, uh, I mean, uh, like okay, Kit Kats. So like not four, Kit Kats. I'm talking about the Reese's Pieces. No, okay. Re oh, Reese's Pieces. They're stuffed with... Not peanut butter cups. Yeah, they're gotcha. stuffed with the cut. God damn, they're so fucking good. Yeah, but, yeah, you but know not they, $15 dollars good. Right. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but you know what they don't have? What's that? All of the uh, uh, Captain Crunch flavors. I didn't pay much attention. They had jalapeno he Doritos. Busy which eating delicious. fucking Reese's Pieces. Huh? They had jalapeno Doritos. Which oh, I get delicious. that. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to Jeremy. Right. He was busy eating Reese's Pieces. He didn't have time for the fucking breakfast cereal. Oh, okay. He, was, he, he just assumed it was going to be fucking grape nuts. And so, yeah, he didn't have time to deal with that. Oh, he just well, fucking shoving fuck. handfuls of Reese's Pieces like he's E.T. over here. I don't, Fair I, enough. I don't eat a lot of chips either, but a popular potato chip flavor there is ketchup. Yeah. What the yeah. fuck? Are you serious? Oh, every... Is, they have ketchup flavored of all the chips. All, Why? They, they, is that, that's different than the all-dressed chips, right? Uh, I don't know what those are. Me neither. I'm not fucking Canadian. Is this, a, is this a test? Is this a fucking test? You? How many pots do you buy? No. <laughs> I can only buy one at a time. I don't have your fucking superpower, man. But I did do nothing but eat fucking uh, lobster and scallops. The I saw you was cooking there. lobster. Jesus yeah. God damn that. How fun was that to kill them? You just throw them in the pot. Yeah. That's it. It's great. Hear them scream. Yeah. Couldn't even hear them. Really? Yeah, I told I'd him to shut a, the fuck. I usually gag him. I put a stethoscope down there. I want to mm -hmm. hear that. Ah, uh, see, so I just took little bits of paper towel and shoved it in their mouth so I couldn't in, hear it. In mm -hmm. fact, I would like to put a microphone down there and see if one can host a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. When we were at one of the harbors too, it was kind of it was crazy because they had one lobster there because you could buy them and take them home. Mm -hmm. They had one that was there, eighteen fucking pounds. Jesus Christ. Uh, for a lobster. For the, the lobster was 18. It weighed 18 pounds. It didn't yes. cost 18 pounds. I don't know what they fucking use for money up there. Dollars. They, they uh, use lobster for yeah, money. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you yeah. have to exchange an even amount yeah, of lobster for, for lobster. That yeah, I got a shirt. It cost me fetus. two claws and a leg. <laughs> Uh, the lobster thing was like that. That one claw was like that big. Jesus, it was H fucking Christ. unbelievable. If you bowled with that, you would be out of regulation. <laughs> yes, yes, you would. Very, very astute observation. Well, Thank I you. don't know. In Canada, they bowl different. It's duck pin. Sure, they use the metric system. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how many kil pin. kilograms that is. Yeah. So, but yeah, so that was uh, that was my vacation. I had a great time. Awesome. Well, everybody, happy 4th of July. We, uh... USA! Yeah! <laughs> Get your John Duffy tickets now! I have all of you <laughs> went out and, and and just burned $100 bills that you just sent up in the air and burned on fire. I'm so glad I don't play with fireworks I don't for that. Either. I, uh, I, I I'll let other people do it. Yeah. <laughs> and just I mean, watch it. I get yeah, the I'll same effect. It. My buddy Taylor has a, a party every year uh, for the 4th This in this... Uh, he had it this past Sunday, and we went over there for a little bit. And my buddy Jamie has uh, quarter sticks and half sticks of fucking dynamite that he brought. Nice, out. hell yeah! And so uh, they throw, they put one on the back fence on the four by four that's holding the. <laughs> Why and, wouldn't they? Yeah, yeah, and, and absolutely. A, Fuck and that a, fence. Yeah. A, yeah, and of course the the four by four was fine, but the top half of the picket blew off, and so then they go. <laughs> Oh, Man, shit. let's go get a five-gallon bucket. 
<laughs> so they throw a fucking half stick in this five gallon bucket in the front yard. We're Are they all wearing sitting, a fucking flak jacket. No, I hope. <laughs> no, we're all sitting in the backyard, and all of a sudden, my wife starts laughing. I'm not facing the right way. She sees this bucket go over the fucking house. <laughs> like, it's blown to shit. Uh, now we. That's what you get. Okay, at at uh, this was many many years ago. This was uh, back. Uh, you know our good buddy Yoga Matt. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, I love Yoga Matt. Yeah, he uh, back back when he was still Fat Matt. He um, at his old house. He had a a plastic mailbox, and we stuffed just a bag of fucking bottle rockets and Roman candles and all kinds of shit, just a paper bag, and then lit the bag on fire in his fucking mailbox. And it just melted it right on the fucking <laughs> post. Oh, God. I don't know why we did it, but Matt was all on board. I can tell you that. At one point, he ran down the street naked because he used to do that a lot. <laughs> That's how he lost all that weight. Maybe he still does. Yeah, I don't know. Right. That, yeah, yeah, that is how he That's lost That's how you get proper running for him is yeah. to run barefoot. Naked That's jogging. Right. That's what you do. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, tell us about your week. Jesus I, I'm Christ. sorry. I, I do. I do want to give uh, you guys <coughs> uh, as much of a heads up as I possibly can. I am probably moving. Yes. Yeah. All right. Where are you thinking? Uh, Maine? Not far from Maine. Maine would be a great spot. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. just close enough to Canada. Delaware? No. No. Ooh, you should go to Delaware. Yeah. No, not far from here. Um, oh, I would not make far. That trip oh, every so you're thinking like Missouri, Oklahoma? Yeah. Something like that. Is it far enough away to where we can quit doing this? No, <laughs> it's not. Uh, but no, the whole reason why we're moving actually is because of the studio. It, it's too small. It's because we don't want to we be in it We fit in anymore. here just fine, Scotty. Yeah. Uh, you and and Derek uh, do fit very well, but no. And these I, kids. Yeah, yeah, and and the kids, they mm-hmm. they fit just fine, but no. In all seriousness, and a studio audience of over two hundred. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> live studio audience. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, live studio audience. Uh, but in all seriousness, no. Eventually, we are going to have to move, uh, and uh, it, it sucks, but. At all, in all seriousness, we're probably going to have a little bit of a sabbatical. We're going to be probably. You're going to church. Yeah. No, oh, I don't roll on Shabbos. I just want you to know that. <laughs> does that no. uh, does that mean we get to quit doing this? No, not not permanently, Please. but but at least for a couple of weeks, oh, it's going to happen. I you know. know. Before they were Black Sabbath, they were oh. Black Sabbatical. Yeah. Sure, were. <laughs> they were like sabbatical. Yeah, uh, but no. In all seriousness, they were Browns uh, habits then for a while. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of color to it. Still. <laughs> a lot of shit. Yeah, uh, but uh, in all seriousness, no. Eventually, we are going to have to probably take a break. Uh, probably a 30, 30 day deal. Which well, I, I don't know. Like a lot, I know it's it's a lot, but I mean, we'll figure it out whenever it comes. But however, in order to sell my house, we had to have a realtor come over. Right, she has to go through all of the. Why other did st- you try and get all seductive what? with that? Um, because I will tell you, 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 you <laughs> said it. You said it as though you're going to try and fuck us now. Uh, not really. And I don't want that. No, but we'll we had honest. a realtor come over and uh, she came downstairs, saw the studio, wanted to know if we needed to take down this uh, beautiful piece of artwork behind us, and I said, No, no. You mean they- that big fucking sign? Yeah. <laughs> that one. Yeah, that one. Big fucking yeah. sign behind my head. Yeah. That, that one. one. Uh, no, she said she. I, I saw. I told her no. I, I don't care if anybody knows where I live. It's not that big of a deal. But then she goes into. Oh, in that case, one 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 one. <laughs> rolling. Yeah. yeah I, yikes. No. Joint. No. 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 Uh, but I, all, he just said he. That makes him a liar. Yeah. yeah it sure does, Scotty. Yeah, yeah, don't don't say you don't care when you clearly care. No, it's Clearwater Avenue. But anyway. Uh, no, it's she, Electric <laughs> Avenue. <laughs> but in let's all rock scene, down to it. Yeah, let's rock down to it. <laughs> But in all seriousness, she comes down the stairs, she looks, and she and she sees what she sees. And then she goes into the spare area over here that we use for storage. And all the chained-up children. Yeah, uh, yeah, all the chained-up children was reaching for No, in all seriousness, she sees Derek's fucking blow-up doll. <laughs> I like, uh, how, I like how he's like, Derek's blow-up doll. It's not mine. Well, once that uh, seal yeah. got popped, that's your doll. No, I was going to say, pop it. Uh, possession is nine tenths of the law, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> and I can tell you whose house it was in and whose house it wasn't, and it wasn't in Derek's. <laughs> I can just imagine. That's my friend's doll. <laughs> that's yeah. exactly yeah. the yeah. conversation. He just let that me borrow had. it yeah. to, you know, fuck it with that horse yeah. head on it. Oh, no. That's, and she, that's she, my friend's cucumber with shit on the end of it don't tell me she raised horses she even had a shadow like it was a person that's coming up into 
doing what her job is. So there's two people that oh, are like an apprentice. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, like an apprentice, exactly. And so she went in there, and they both just fucking well, started I dying bet, laughing. I bet she picks a new career after that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and, and and it was so funny because she came she came out of the out of the room, and she goes, "I've seen way worse." And I'm like really what do you got and she ends up telling me like a whole bunch of shit and i'm like okay i, I guess i'm normal i'm normal thanks uh but yeah that was uh that she's was my lying. Week. she didn't find any of that shit this is the weirdest fucking thing she's ever seen she found she's Vicky. just afraid you're gonna try and fucking fuck her and uh did you no nope. okay i sure didn't all right i like my realtor she's you should have cool. showed her though how you do fuck the doll in front of her <laughs> and her apprentice i don't fuck the doll Yet, you, you <laughs> could have changed that right in front of your fucking realtor, so okay, she'd have known you're fine. a real fucking right. man. Whatever, whatever. But that was my week. Uh, Jeremy, what? tee off, buddy. You got all the all the time in the world. I uh, went and did a little shopping yesterday. I actually took a personal holiday. We we get one of those now at work, mm-hmm. where uh, we get to pick one day a year and make that a, a personal holiday. So I picked uh, what was it, June thirtieth? Nice. You know, it's very important to me, guys. Yeah. yeah. You you should should have the 30th, that's when, that's when it all went down. You and, should uh, have took Bastille Day. I should have. What day is that? It's uh, the day of Bastille. Oh, and that seems really Canadian. It's French. And uh, so, yeah, even worse. Um, Scotty, I was out shopping yesterday, and I found you something. That is for you. I didn't want you to be jealous of your brother. Uh you, you now have a scooter as well. <laughs> oh, I'm putting this up front. Yeah, you should. Oh, that's... You're good. not going to drink coffee out of that? No. Well, I mean, I might. I might. I think you should start drinking coffee it's just a, so you have your own scooter cup. Oh, that's awesome. It's a yeah. Vespa mug. Yeah. It sure is. Yeah. Uh, that's good shit. It's better than anything you ever fucking got me. Anyways, <laughs> um, I'm not bitter about that at all. Uh, let's see. Other than that... It really hasn't been that long since we recorded our last show, so I haven't had a whole lot of time to do much of anything. Mm-hmm. So I uh, watched some shows. Oh, shit. Yeah. Review a Source Rex. What do you got? I, I saw a, uh, a documentary series called uh, Confession Killer. It's about uh, oh, I did see that. supposed serial killer uh, Henry Lee Lucas, mm-hmm. who claimed to have killed over 360 people and um, may have really only killed a couple. Mm-hmm. But he took the blame for a lot of them and closed a bunch of cases, which maybe shouldn't have been closed. And he's uh, well, he's a fucking hero to me. I, <laughs> I love this guy. He's my new favorite fucking guy. It's like an open mic comic claiming they killed and they really didn't. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was funny. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> he did a lot of Hedberg that, stuff. That's though. what he meant when he said he killed a sure. lot. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I he killed a lot. Yeah. I, I, seriously, I found him on the side of the road. I got out. I told him some fucking jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I went with my closer. It was fucking beautiful. They laughed their ass off. I drove off. I don't know what happened to him. Uh, let's see. And then I watched the uh, the series finale of Stranger Things. Oh, I still got to do that. Don't tell me about it. I thought you didn't like Stranger Things. I love Stranger Things. Really? Because I brought it up last time, and you're like, oh, I don't care about it. No, that, that was either. something different you brought up. I've watched all the Stranger I just got caught up on it. Uh, I don't Other like than the series finale. I do not like Stranger Okay, there's two episodes. Yes, I've heard for this. For this. Uh, I thought it was going to be a standard seven again. You know how that's, that's a standard what I season. Uh, no, but they make like the final episode is two hours and 20 minutes or some mm-hmm. shit. So, uh, which, I mean, basically anybody who watches that show just watches one episode after another. They really don't give a fuck where the beginning and the end of the episode is. Um I got to go back and watch it again so that it makes sense. See, I got to go back and watch like prior seasons because that's what sucks when you go like two, three years sometimes between seasons. Yeah. You forget what the fuck happened. And by the way, uh, it's really becoming hard for them to convince us that those are high school kids still. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was just talking about this there, yesterday. There's a couple of them that got to be close to 30. The kid that plays Will Byers. <laughs> The one that would, lives with, uh, that moved to California with uh, L or whatever. The gay one? Uh, probably. I think he's gay. He looks like it. Yeah. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with that. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, you know he's But not, he's old. Th- but there he is looks, something wrong with Millie Bobby Brown. But he's got a mustache almost. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. And it's like, you want me to believe this kid's 13? And that <laughs> kid who used to have the fucked up teeth? Yes. Dustin? Yeah. He, okay, it started off like, I don't know, they were in fifth grade or some shit. Mm-hmm. And now they're like juniors or seniors in high school, 
and he's still wearing that dumb fucking cap? He didn't yeah. grow out of that? What? <laughs> really? I mean, fashion changes even if you're the fucking dork. Right. What? No, I, nobody wears the same shit they were still wearing in fifth grade, but apparently that's his fucking signature <laughs> look, I guess. But, you know, compared to all the rest of the shit, that's pretty believable. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. Of course it is. But, yeah, it, it's, a, it's a nice... Um, it was a nice way to wrap up what was a, a pretty good and entertaining series. I think that was my favorite season so far. The, <laughs> this, this most la- recent one? This most recent yeah. one, yeah. Okay. I was watching That's a lot fair. of TikToks through it, so I don't know. Well, we've got a lot of sports to get to, but before we get to uh, that kind of stuff, and including the funny stuff, we got to talk about our sponsor, Speaking which Speaking of Stranger Things. That's exactly right. You ever look down at your bush? Mm-hmm. I haven't been able to see that thing for years. You've been using a lot. I use a periscope. Mm-hmm. Oh, is that what? what uh huh. I made it out of Wheaties box. <laughs> you, you've been you've been using the lawnmower 4.0, haven't right. you? I, you're sure is right. I'm not happy with this sentence at all. <laughs> I, I between the time when you asked the question, me saying periscope, and just now I forgot how to talk. <laughs> Speaking of Stranger Things, yeah. I don't know. I Man- think the Demi Gorgon took it. Manscaped dot. <laughs> Com is our sponsor. They uh, make excellent products to help you clean your bush, and uh, not yeah. just clean it, get rid of it. Yeah, get rid of it completely. Turn it back. Um, I gotta Some say, removal. I gotta say, uh, my wife complimented me the other day. Why? Because it looks bigger than it did before. She just made a comment, and she didn't really compliment you. Oh, it's a compliment. Yes, it looks bigger. Right, but after calling you a fucking asshole seventeen <laughs> times. <laughs> And telling you what a mistake your marriage was no. and what a fucking fraud it is. No, she never said She's only like doing that. it to get fucking citizenship. No, but in all seriousness, she's man's, Canadian, right? Yeah, no. Let's pretend she is. No, she's <laughs> Polish. Uh, but, in, <laughs> but in all seriousness, no, manscaped.com. They make excellent products to help keep your, you know, downstairs bush to tush uh groomed pubic yeah. hair scotty yeah, we're all yeah, we're hair. all fucking adults here we don't have to come up with names the short and curlies around your wiener mm, yeah. those things <laughs> no those things uh but they help you clean your uh ears as well the, the pubes what do you use them like an sos whacker. pad after you cut them off no what? the I guess weed if you whacker. Got really big fucking ears you could stick the lawnmower in there yeah, yeah you could but uh but no they, they make a product called the weed whacker they sure do which is for your ear hair and I your have nose it. hair you got it too, right, Scotty? Uh huh. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah, I do. I'm too cheap. <laughs> You're a piece of shit. Derek still does his with scissors. Yeah, yeah that's exactly <laughs> right. Uh, but they have an you excellent have safety scissors too, right? From, mm-hmm. Yeah. From yeah. Fucking second yeah. grade. I know. R5. I use lefties. Sure. Just lefties. It's okay. a bitch to get in the other it ear. Sure is. <laughs> but, but anyways, they also have the uh, the cologne, which is uh, refined, which uh, will get you all. All the puss in the world, if I if I if I remember right. They also have the pole saw. It will get you all the consenting <laughs> puss that you can ex- handle. There right? you go. It does not. It's not a license to puss. No, that that that's totally true. Uh, but they have uh, excellent products that keep you groomed, make you smell good, especially for the guys out there. So check them out at manscaped.com. Uh, mostly for the guys. Manscaped. I mean, Jesus. Well, I mean, it's in the fucking name. I mean, I, women can put it on. Yeah, they, girls can do it. Oh, they sure. use the other end. Oh, that's what it <laughs> they is. They use the other end of the lawnmower. Got I guess it. if they're trying yeah. to lure Scotty, yeah, they, women can put on these men scented <laughs> confections. <laughs> I don't know. My wife has put it on, and it, it's worked pretty well. I'm <laughs> sure you thought she had a penis. <laughs> <laughs> that's what attracted him to her in the mm-hmm. first place. Right. Uh, but check them out at manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINE. Turns out it was a banana in her pocket. Damn. So she was not happy to see him, <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, ever, uh-huh. <laughs> ever. She just she loves bananas, and she's she keeps one on hand at all times, all right times. there in the pocket. She likes them mushy. <laughs> Use the promo code sidelines and get twenty percent off of your order, and uh, that helps you out, helps us out, and lets Manscaped know that we uh, read these commercials word for word. Any yeah. chance that we can get that uh, that promo code changed to pocket banana? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe. I don't know. If you want to save money, <laughs> use the promo code sidelines. But if you just want to have fun, put in pocket banana. Pocket banana. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, we got, a, we got a lot of new stuff that's coming out. Uh, first of all, uh, I don't want to talk about uh, any kind of sports so far. But I want to talk about something. And that is right. R. Kelly gets sentenced <laughs> to 30 years for sex trafficking. What are your feelings? Uh, he's on suicide watch. 
Oh, really? Yeah, which all I can think of when I heard that was, my mind's telling me no. No. (laughs) But my body. Yeah, that was that. I didn't go into the rest of that part. Yeah, I know. Jeremy? What? (laughs) Nothing at all? What the fuck do you want me to say? He's a fucking weird perv who likes to fuck young children wow. and he's right where he belongs yeah absolutely Jesus. i i am i'm i'm glad he's there uh you know it granted he's he's a hell of a singer but yeah, he, uh he, i think he's gonna be in the prison choir <laughs> i bet he is yeah. yeah you better believe he is but uh, this is kind of one of those things i i i have uh i don't know i don't want to say if it's unique but i have a an ability much like derek with his pots uh <laughs> i I have an ability to separate art from artists, so I don't necessarily hate his music, but I don't really care for him Mm -hmm. and haven't for a while now because I think we've all kind of known he was a scumbag for a little while. It was just a matter of finding a way to prove it in court, wasn't it? Yeah, Yeah, pretty much. Uh, But happy Bobby Bonilla Day. Uh, Mm. uh, July 1st is whenever uh, Bobby Bonilla gets his contract uh, agreement, which is like over $1.1 million. He's still getting that, huh? He's still Mm -hmm. getting that. Up until twenty. I think it's like 35, if I remember right. It, that's like... It'll be like 72 when it's done. Yeah. You know when people win the Powerball and they can like get one lump sum or once a year they get a smaller payout? And yeah. it's like, that's what I would do if I ever won the Powerball. Oh, just the smaller because payout? Yeah. I can, I can go out. I know I can get my fucking job back. So I'd just go out and be so irresponsible for like a month. And then I know come next year I got more shit coming to replenish the coffers. <laughs> yep. yep. 100%. Uh, but moving on, we got uh, Matt Scherzer treats minor league teammates to a luxurious dining experience on his last start before returning to the Mets. Said it was uh, over seven thousand dollars was the dinner he brought in. It was bone-in ribeye, filet mignon, and lobster into the locker room, and then got them all AirPods. This is when I uh, get out of character. This is what it's all about. This is exactly what it's all about. Well, guys, guys, we are, we, me and Jeremy have been waiting for our lobster and AirPods. Uh, and I can't. Well, obviously, yeah. I would. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, go up to Canada, you get paid in lobster. Apparently. Absolutely. I mean, but in all seriousness, national currency. this is the coolest fucking shit. This is, this is why I love this guy, Matt Scherzer. Awesome job doing what he should do, which is take care of his players. You know, two different colored eyes. I don't. I don't care for them. Okay, there is that. That's fucking weird. That is fucking weird. I mean, it's you, like a goddamn Siberian husky. I don't honestly, like you got to work twice as hard to get out of that fucking hole, mm-hmm. just to That's convince true. me you're not a demon. That's true. Uh, but okay, it's a here, demogorgon. Yeah. I, uh, first off, Scotty, I totally disagree with you that oh. this is not what it's all about. The hokey pokey oh. is what it's all about. It says okay, right there in the point. fucking song. Yeah, I get so you, yeah, you, good point. you can't just throw that that title around that this is what it's all about no it's been established he's got you there right foot in right foot out okay but but if i put my left hand in and take my left hand out scherzer lefty that's that's fisting shake it is that what it's all about yes okay all right if that's what scherzer did okay i can't imagine they ate very well what if he did that um well this is a very nice thing to do (laughs) that just reminds them of what they don't have (laughs) and now they have to go back to being broke (laughs) most of them i mean i mean i I don't know what the fuck you expect of him what do you expect him you're like hey guys bring me your bills for the month and i'll pay them because that ain't gonna happen i it's it's as nice a gesture as you can get but at the same time (laughs) It just kind of really reminds folks that he's Max Scherzer and you're not. That, that, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's true. what it really shows them. But I guess it gives them something to strive for, and it certainly sets a good example <clears throat> for them. Some of them are bound to go on to bigger and better things and to uh, treat the people below you better. And some of them are going to go to smaller and shittier things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you can't smaller forget that, too. Well, hopefully one of them will come on and po- host this podcast. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I'm b- banking on it. That's exactly right. Uh, but anyways, uh, now we get to move on to the NBA. Now that the NBA finals are over, a whole bunch of roster moves. Have you seen that? Uh, I a little paid bit. any attention. I saw that uh, Russell Westbrook uh, decided he was going to go play one more year for $47 million, <laughs> which when you had a season like you did last year, I yeah. would too. 
<laughs> yeah, no yeah. shit. Yeah, way to opt in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> boy, that was a real fu- fucking tough decision, wasn't way, it? Way to exercise mm. all your fucking options when this is your <laughs> only fucking option. Uh, really, <laughs> it's either that or get signed on for one hundred fifty thousand in the WNBA. <laughs> you got to dress like a woman, Juana Man style. <laughs> he might do it. Uh, But Kevin Durant requests a trade, and Kyrie Irving is determined to be a Laker. So uh, so, uh, Kevin Durant, who uh, has won, I believe, one championship title with Golden State. Uh And if I remember right, he wasn't really all that much. He won the MVP of the final. Uh, Okay. Yeah, but but he really did. Other than that, what did he do? Other than that, what did he do? (laughs) Fuck that guy. But no, in all seriousness, Kevin Durant is requesting a trade out of Brooklyn. And I want to know why the fuck does everybody think that he's one of the best players of all time? He's and, one of the best players in the league now. In, in the league now, but like why in all time? Why are we getting this this quotation? Because, because that's well, it depends on what you're you're classifying as one of the best of all time. Is he in the top Two hundred, because there's been a lot of NBA players. Oh sure, I, I would put him in the top two hundred sure. for sure. And I mean, he's one of the best right now. And I got to think that right now, you probably have some of the best players of all time. And if he's up there, then I yeah. guess you got to put him in that. Yeah. But he does not seem to be the type of guy that you necessarily want to build a team around. You, no. He's the kind of guy that you want to bring into an establishment that is one piece away. Yeah. He's wherever he's going to go, he's going to win. I mean, I disagree. period. He's, you're disagree. a playoff team with uh, Kevin Durant, 100%. Generally, I mean, the the, the Mavericks, wasn't it? The, no, it was Oklahoma City. Yeah. But, I mean, okay, who who they had Westbrook yeah. like, the whole time that he no, was there, they, right? No, they, they, they had the most, like, uh, superstar team that they couldn't do shit with. Yeah, were, were it not for the fact that there was kind of a self-made all-star team in, in Golden State, they probably would have... He would have another at least two championship rings. Uh, maybe. At least, Scotty. No, It's maybe. not up for fucking debate. No, that's maybe. Why don't you go fuck your doll in the other room? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kyrie just re-upped with Brooklyn, so I don't get the Laker thing. Oh, hey, really? Can, he re-upped with Brooklyn yesterday or the day before. The one oh. that got me is uh, Rudy Gobert. You remember him? Yeah. Yeah, COVID got, guy. Yeah. He just got traded. He should come and touch our mics. Here's what he got <laughs> traded for. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Rudy Gobert. Uh that's who the Timberwolves got. Uh-huh. The Jazz got Malik Beasley, Patrick Beverly, Leandro Bomaro, Walker Kessler, Jared Vanderbilt, a 2023 first round pick, a 2025 first round pick, a 2026 pick swap, a 2027 first round pick, and a 2029 first round pick. What the fuck? For, for first round pick? I mean, he's okay. Four first round picks. Now, if, if you put him in the best of all time, that's when I go, what the Huh? Here's his stats last he year. He hung out with your stepmom, right? <laughs> yeah. Before, yeah. Before yeah. the trip. Yeah. He, here's his stats. I mean, he's not terrible. I mean, he's 15 points, 14 boards, one assist. He's That's not four first-round picks plus other players good. Yeah. That is not. Plus, plus like, NBA-ready players. Yes. Yes. So that was fucking okay. insane. They, they traded him from where? From uh, Utah. To where? Minnesota. Yeah, because Minnesota's going to have some good fucking draft picks, too. Yeah. They're, I mean, they're going to be lottery after, picks. Especially yeah. after this fucking trade. Yeah. That's, <laughs> like, they're going to be bad. So, I don't... Uh, that... Utah fleeced them. That reminds me of whenever they... What was it? The Herschel Walker deal. Like, your whole draft. Huh. Yes. Yeah. Which was the biggest fucking underhanded yeah. goddamn thing anybody yeah, in football has ever fucking done. <laughs> uh, but moving on, we're going to go to um, Rob Manfred. Apparently. Love this guy. Oh, Love yeah. me some Manfred. Mm-hmm. Rob Manfred has to have a press conference to announce he is not trying to kill baseball. How shitty do you have to uh-huh. be at your job when you have to go on national TV and be like, I'm really not trying to close the company? <laughs> like, yeah. how bad do you, like, Jeremy? <laughs> really, you guys, like, I'm not doing this on purpose. That's like if Jeremy just kept taking sledgehammers to all the wings he put on planes uh-huh. <laughs> and then was like, hey, just so you guys know, I'm not trying to kill the airline yeah, industry. I, I am, I'm not trying to fuck up these aircraft. I think, I just think they look better with dents, is all. <laughs> really? 
I just don't know my own strength. They gave me this fucking sledgehammer. What the fuck am I supposed to do with it, right? I mean, a, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm a little downsy, so I'm extra strong. Yeah, but yeah. Do you, you <laughs> just. Yeah, I'm I'm like a, a weak chimpanzee. That's that's my strength level, and it's oh, what, what what do you Christ. do? I mean, when when it is so glaringly obvious that you not only don't care about baseball, but you are so totally incompetent at your fucking job. I don't know if he actually tries or if he just. Maybe he's got something against baseball that he's sitting there going, I want to fuck up the game. But when you have to make a national announcement that, like, seriously, guys, I'm trying to do the right thing here. I guess I just make bad decisions. That <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> right? yeah, I can make better decisions than this guy does. That's like the guy that beats his wife. <laughs> uh-huh. It is like, look, you made me do it. Like, that is... <laughs> I make better decisions than I bought a fucking scooter cup. <laughs> Maybe that's what he should do at this. Uh, has he done this press conference? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, did, yeah did he yeah. buy everybody scooter cups? Uh, Maybe. I, I mean, got them all. He got them all AirPods. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I bet he shops at World Market. But he also says that automatic strike zones will be integrated by 2024. That needs to happen. That, it, uh, okay. Okay. Here, <laughs> hold, hold on. Let me have my bit. Because can I go upstairs or yeah yeah sure no, just, go ahead I just, just want to get out of here I just uh, but in all in all seriousness this is his closer shut the fuck up <laughs> no but in all seriousness this is this is my deal I, I am one of those people that is a like I don't what do you call him like the guy that talks with their hands shut the fuck up uh, no the the, An the idiot original, and sunglasses like, and a scooter like cap the, the statistic <laughs> kind of a guy to where I like baseball the way it was uh, that that that's that's me. And yeah. I and understand that umpires purist. make mistakes. I'm a purist. Thank you. I, I understand that and umpires make mistakes. Yeah, I'm a douchebag too. Mm-hmm. Uh, but in all, all seriousness, I understand that umpires make mistakes, and that was part of the game, and that's what it used to be before. But I understand that if we have an automatic strike zone that's actually 100% accurate, I'm I'm on it. I'm, I'm with it. Me too. I, I, I legitimately think that this is good... This is good you, for you the game. You still need a home plate umpire to, to call the plate. Yeah, 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 you do. And, You'll have you know, that. maybe even hit hit batters. Yes. Because sometimes that is it's questionable. imperceptible by yeah. a camera. There's also going to be times when that strike zone goes out, and yes. that umpire is going to have to call the game. There is. I don't know. Okay, is it is it just being pointed out more, or have the behind-the-plate umpires gotten... Way worse. They've worse. gotten worse. Because, I mean, with TikTok and everything, we didn't have that before. So maybe it was just that nobody was pointing that out. Um, but it seems like, and of course, they're doing it at all facets of the game from Little League on up, where they're pointing out awful umpires making no. shit calls. But it seems like it's really had a lot of emphasis on it here just in the last year or so. And, you know, we've all known Angel Hernandez is shit, but the rest of them... Because I've always been so, like, genuinely impressed with how many times they get it right. Uh huh. Here's the thing: there's like nine or ten guys worse than Angel Hernandez yeah. on the scorecard. Yeah. So we know he's shit, but the other guys we don't even know about yet. But they're worse. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's time. 100%. to It's time to fix this shit. No, yeah. No. And so, so an automatic strike zone. While I initially was like, no, I don't want that at all. I'm like, one hundred percent, like in favor for it because like in all seriousness i mean you got tennis that has sensors in their fucking balls and it hasn't changed the game and they can figure out whether and whether or not it's in or out if anything it detects prostate cancer early mm-hmm. yeah exactly because each one has a finger like appendage mm-hmm. it'll go right up your butt <laughs> absolutely <laughs> yeah exactly but last thing i wanted to get to is and then we can go home and it well <laughs> i no. agree no, not not quite. It's but the last thing I man. wanted Come to get on. to was probably the craziest shit I've ever heard in my entire life. But Freddie Feem, oh, sorry, Freddie Freddy Femer, Freddie Femer, Freddie yeah. Freddie Femer, <laughs> yeah, he's uh, Freddy an Fre- educational guy. That, Are you on the pots? Yeah, <laughs> I'm on the pots. Yeah. <laughs> it's an educational guy. He talks about anatomy. Freddie Femer. Yeah, how many you lobsters does that about. pots call you? Uh, gotcha. He calls me Scooter. Uh, but no, Freddie Freeman fires his agent Casey Close after he finds out during the series in Atlanta 
that Close never told him about the Braves' final offer. He didn't even know he got a final offer from the Braves. There's too many alliterative names in this. Close? Fre- FF and Casey Close. I mean, yeah. Freddie Freeman, Casey Close. That's just too much. Yeah. This is... Uh, it was a tongue twister, Jeremy. It, no, it's just alliterative, oh, okay. um, which is in itself a tongue twister. Um, I don't care. You don't care? <laughs> At all. I don't give a fuck what Freddie Freeman does. I, oh, I my think, God. I, I, I mean, I think that it would... It's easy to say in fucking hindsight, but you hire an an agent to look out for your best interest and to kind of make some decisions for you. Okay, his agent fucked him. Yeah, his agent. But I don't know that he fucked, fucked him. But he just made yeah, a bad he decision. Fucked him. But if he right, wanted, not to, intentionally fucked him. Oh yeah, no, he that was inten- intentional. No, it was intentional. That was intentional. He fucked him. It was probably less than what the Dodgers offered, but he gets a certain percentage, so it was enough to make a difference in his pocket. Well, okay, Casey, close if. If you need a job as a roadie for Joe Diffie, let me know, <laughs> and I can hook you up. Here's the other thing, though, is if Freeman wanted to stay with Atlanta, he had every opportunity still to do so. Yeah. So uh, money did play a factor. Yes. Because it wasn't the original offer wasn't enough. No. So he still had that opportunity. So it's it sucks and it's a shitty deal, but it's not all. It's part of it's still on him. What was Atlanta's final <laughs> offer, and what did Freddie Freeman wind up taking? Instead, Atlanta's final offer was, if I remember correctly, was the exact offer from L.A. If I remember correctly, okay. I could be wrong, but but at the same time, I, I admit so that he's saying that if he had Fre- gotten the same type of money, correct, out of them, that he would have stayed at Atlanta. But I'm sitting here talking to Nunnally, and I'm just like, dude, I don't think he's leaving. I don't think this guy is leaving because he loves Atlanta so much, and he loves the fans. Can you get him on the blower now and see if he host a podcast? Um, they maybe. initially offered him five at one twenty-five. And then they bumped it up to five at 140 after the lockout. Uh, but they wanted a sixth year. So Close presented an ultimatum, six at 175 or five at 165 was the ultimatum supposedly that he gave the Braves. So. Okay. I mean, do you want me to try to get him on? Yeah. Not only, yeah. yeah if oh, he can okay. host the podcast, yes. yeah. If he, can, uh, if he can host it. Okay. Would he be willing I, to come I mean, here I mean, once I, a week? Because otherwise, I mean, it really won't matter if you fucking move. I mean, I'll try, but the fact, will he, he actually? He should buy your fucking house. I mean, he That'd should. He's got idea. that kind of cash, and then we could just keep coming here. I mean, yeah. I, 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 I Oh, shit. Are what you now? serious? What? Buddy, you're on the show. Listen. <laughs> Is that really him? February of 1865 is the only month. In recorded history, to not have a full moon. <laughs> I, I actually did know that. <laughs> what, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> doing videos in the truck. Of course you are. Uh, but no, we're sitting here talking. We're sitting here talking about Freddie Freeman. Do you think that he would have actually taken the Atlanta? You should Brit- get his permission to put him on the show. First. Oh, oh, sorry. Can I get permission to do? You've always got my permission. Okay, fine. Okay, uh, do you think that Freddie Freeman would have actually taken the Atlanta Braves offer if he didn't go to L.A.? Absolutely, and I hope the agent that did not disclose to him Atlanta's final offer never gets another contract in the sports world again. Oh, there we go. Justin, we've actually hired that particular agent to – host this podcast <laughs> we're we're replacing scotty with that guy uh he's got to be better than the shit that we have right now <laughs> let me uh, let me ask you d- <laughs> but let, let me ask you you're full of interesting facts you got anything for douchebags that wear sunglasses indoors <laughs> Tommy Tuto. He wears sunglasses at night. That's Corey Hart. Oh, yeah. Tommy Tuto is uh, Jenny. 8675309. Oh, shit. Corey Hart does wear sunglasses at night. Mm-hmm. So he can. Uh, so he can. So wait, he can. Wait, yeah. say what you're going to say because I think you're, you're out. 
I said, you look like a really like less cool version of Hank Williams Jr. right now. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, he <laughs> might be the least cool person in the world. Yeah. Now, uh, He's Stank Williams Jr. Justin, as, as, a, uh, as a fun fact, are you familiar with Eddie Klepp? Eddie Klepp, okay. (laughs) Eddie Klepp is the player who actually broke baseball's color barrier. He is the first white guy to play in the Negro Leagues. And and that is a true fact. He did it a year before Jackie Robinson. Are you serious? Yeah. (laughs) Yes. Yes, we're dead serious. K-L-E-P. Listen, I've got one for you. All right. (laughs) I do. And I really hope I don't screw this up because I'm pretty sure it's Charlie Pride. Charlie Pride play, played in the Negro Leagues, right? He played for the Memphis Sounds, or I forget what the name of the team was. But anyways, he and a teammate are the only two um, people in professional baseball to ever be traded for a motor vehicle. They were traded for a bus to the Birmingham Barons. Really? Really? You know? Well, that's because they had Casey Close for an agent. <laughs> no, I tell you, like real talk with the whole Freddie thing, man, that is such a sad situation to watch. Me being a, like a Braves fan, like all of our hearts broke when he left. But we was like, yeah, we get it. You know, you got to get paid for your craft, you know. But then to find out that the the two contracts were very similar, dude, it sucks. Yeah, yeah, because because team loyalty is such a rare thing in the MLB anymore. And when you see a guy who could have been like a franchise player that that the city could have gotten behind and just loved to death, yeah, that really sucks. Let me let me ask y'all this. I want to post this question that I've thought about over the past couple of days. Shit. That, that I don't know if y'all thought about it or not, but what do you think that there, his teammates in L.A. think about him really, I mean, it's clear that he does not want to be there. He, his heart's in Atlanta. What do you think they think about his, uh, you know, his longing to be with his ex-girlfriend? Oh, Here's what shit. I think. I think that Freddie Freeman is a consummate professional, and despite what he may want, he's still going to go and give 110% no matter where he's at, and so his teammates love the fuck out of him. Derek? I think that's pretty well spoken. Yeah, he's not gonna he's not gonna dog it so he can get out of there. He's I mean he's gonna keep playing. He wants to win. Ultimately he won a World Series last year. I can promise you that's not the only one he wants to win. Yeah. He wants to win another one. No, he's in a great position to win one this year. Absolutely. Yeah. He's gotta go through the Yankees. Who's that's it. Horse, who's y'all's dark horse pick for the series? I'm hoping the Royals can make a comeback, <laughs> dude. <laughs> I realize worst record in baseball, but I'm really hoping that they're going to come on after the All Star break and really show the league what they can do. Mine will be the Mets, and mine, of course, is going to be the Cardinals. It's always going to be the Cardinals. My dark horse pick is the Padres. The Padres. Padres are damn solid team. That's a good solid damn team. damn solid team. Sorry to bother you, brother, but I wanted to make sure that you were at least included in this particular conversation. Thank y'all. Bring me up. Hit me up anytime, dog. <laughs> All right, brother. I love you. I'll talk to you it's later. Nice to talk to you, man. Watch that guy, watch that guy on the end. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I know. See ya, bro. <laughs> I fucking love that guy. I'm so sorry, but I... can't I, believe I, you fucking picked him up. I can't believe, I can't believe, believe you either. called him. I thought you were just fucking around playing Angry no, Birds. No, absolutely not. I'm going to. Wow. Yeah. Anyways, uh, where was I at? <laughs> I, I don't where know. Where are we Get, at? Uh, did you ask him uh, if he can host? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> Why would you uh, take that opportunity? I don't know. Even you should want him to host over you. I know. But anyways, now we get to move on to the uh, ick. Please, and thank you. The ick. Oh, we get this? to move okay. on to the ick. And right. uh, I'm really excited about this particular uh, segment because... It two, rhymes with dick. No. Oh, that's <laughs> no. why. But in all yes. seriousness, two of our videos have been taken down as of recently because of the ick. Because what? of okay. bullying what? and harassment. Is it because I said I wanted to slap that woman? Maybe. I think so. <laughs> Even though she doesn't exist. Yeah, that one. I mean, she wants to suck my fucking toes. Fuck her. <laughs> Jeremy doesn't like toes. It's, it's that simple. I don't it's either. not that. I don't it's like not, anybody it's who not likes that big of a deal. 
Uh, but I, I know, know Scotty, you're a big fan of toes. I hate fucking feet. That's not what I heard. I hate feet. I had heard. I hate people. feet. I hate feet. I hate feet. I hate feet. All feet. This but should anyway. be a new segment, the how do you feel about feet segment. <laughs> <laughs> Since we got so many goddamn segments as it is. But in all seriousness, okay, now we get to move on to the ick, which is uh, we give you a fact, and uh, she's a, a blank, and uh, we get to make uh, adjustments to that particular number. But the first one is she's a nine, but she claps when the plane lands. That That'll take her down to a four. Are you fucking serious? Yes, but if she gives you the clap while the plane's in the air, mm. nine point five. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> okay. In all seriousness, no, I'm clapping with her. I'm clapping with her 100%. I hate to fucking fly. So that's my answer. Jeremy? Yeah, but Scotty. it sounds like you'd love to land. So, I'd love uh, to land. Yeah. Who I'll, doesn't, right? I want to take Scotty on a flight over the ocean. No. While it's a completely irrational fear, I still, I guess I understand people who are afraid of flying. Um it's so i mean that's if she's that fucking hot and it's like 10 seconds of obnoxiousness fine <laughs> i'll put up with it okay once we leave the airport nobody knows who the fuck she is or what kind of fucking awful thing she does that's correct yeah moving on next one she's a 10 but she has a very deep voice how deep we talking i mean she might have a set of testicles on her <laughs> well, testicles well, that's, already. Th- that's that a whole different away. deal. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really not concerned about her voice. At that point, she can have the voice of an angel, and I'm not near as interested <laughs> yeah. as I was uh, with the deep voice. Yeah, the balls kind of rule it out for me. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. I mean, but this, I mean, but she doesn't. This happened to a friend of mine <laughs> that I think he wound up going home with her. And he went, <clears throat> my friend's name is Chris, and he met this girl in a bar whose name is also Chris. And, <laughs> and uh, when he was introducing me, he's like, yeah, this is Chris. And I'm like, yeah, I know your fucking name, dude. And so I was like, well, so what's your name? Chris. <laughs> oh, my God. Are, are you doing an impression of, of Chris? <laughs> what the hell is that? No, my name's Chris. And I couldn't have done it. <laughs> Even though she was a very attractive woman, um, and apparently that night was disappointing. I can't imagine why. <laughs> oh, yeah. Give it to me. Good. <laughs> Fuck me harder. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on, pussy. <laughs> Jesus Is that all you Christ. got? Punch me in the fucking face. <laughs> Whose dick? I mean, whose pussy is this? <laughs> I just, I could not believe it was... It was just one of those things. Okay, it's like when a black guy has a British accent. You don't expect that to come out of the mouth, right? <laughs> and this was the same kind of reaction that I had with this. Yeah. Okay. All right. M- me personally, I've never, as far as any woman, you know, of course, my wife's the only woman for me. Uh-huh. But, uh, you know, she's out of town or whatever, then, yeah, bring it on. Um, <laughs> But no, I've never had to actually deal with this from a personal level, but I know a friend who did, and I met that girl, and uh, this would turn me way the fuck off. (laughs) Okay, fair enough. Just from dancing. Uh Uh-huh. Sure. Uh, Next one. She's a 10, but she works... Or Sorry. She's a 10, but she wears fake eyelashes, push-up bras, and hair extensions. Well, that probably puts her down to her natural self, uh-huh. which is a which fucking a five. five. That's yeah. exactly right. Yeah, that uh, I never understood the uh, like the hair extensions. Yeah, I don't want a bald headed bitch, but, <laughs> right. but uh, <laughs> the fake lashes I never got, like where they look like they got Venus fly traps on their fucking eyes. Get the fuck I, out of here! I never got that. I, it's I like, have. I can't. I I don't. I don't get it. It's a five. I have never understood the fake eyelash thing no. at all. I mean, why Why do you think I give a fuck? Right. About, I don't give a shit if you don't have eyelashes. Eyebrows, whole separate thing. Yeah. Eyelashes, I don't give a shit. Um, but as far as the push-up bras, yeah, you're fucking lying. Uh-huh. That you that is intentionally deceptive. That'd be like if I went out in a muscle costume. Yes. <coughs> yes. That's how. That's the only way Pardon I go out. Me. 
No, no. Uh, I always wear a muscle costume. I, I know on. that. Yeah, and, no. and you still look fat. That's weird. Yeah, that's <laughs> weird. Um, the hair extensions. It, it, hair is kind of one of those things, if I can touch it, it's fucking real, as long as it's a good hair extension. I've seen some shit fucking hair extensions where you can, like, see the paper that they come in weaved in there, and that I don't necessarily want, but I can look past it because it's not on her vagina. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Huh? I, I have a yeah, pubic. she has pubic hair extensions. <laughs> yeah. That's, like, alligator clipped on fucking <laughs> weird hair. That means she doesn't want you to know that she's way too young to be fucking. That's what that is. This episode is going to go long, and I don't give a it, fuck. It is, yeah. But in all seriousness, I have a question for you. Oh, God. Name a, don't, haven't you had enough questions? No. Name a guy that's ever done anything like this. Name one. Joanna Man. No. No. In all seriousness. Yeah. Name a He's guy. Wrong. No, well, I mean, uh, okay, fine. That's a fucking movie. He did. He wanted to play women's basketball. He had to do it. Name a yeah. guy that wanted to be more of a guy and Tootsie. be... Tootsie. What? <laughs> Tootsie. Tootsie? Yeah. Dustin Hoffman. No. no that's, Chris that's again, Jenner. not a fucking guy. It's or a girl. Bruce Jenner. Brittany Griner. Yeah. No. Brittany, yeah. yeah, yeah. That, no, she's in prison right that now. That dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that dude. She's been there for a fucking while. Yeah. Uh, no, but name a guy that's ever gone this far to to make himself appear to be attractive. Well, no, I'll tell that, you what, I have got a warm banana in my pocket right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you do. Yeah. Yeah. But it doesn't exist. Uh, it, it probably does. We just don't know Maybe. about it. Oh, back in the uh, 80s, I guarantee when you were wearing, when men wore tight jeans, there was shit stuff down there. Oh, like, man. Oh, yes. Fucking, Maybe. Uh, uh, dude, have you ever seen a fucking Kiss concert? Oh, yeah. Those motherfuckers shove cod pieces down there. Like, you wouldn't believe. I mean, it's... And Tom Jones, like, his dick practically sings a song. It's so fucking big. Uh, apparently, it's a big thing at a Kiss concert. Uh, I think it's Gene gets, like, vaulted out over the crowd on wires, and, and he'll empty out the sweat from his cod piece onto the fucking people in the crowd. I don't think it's wires. And I think he can actually fly. I it might be. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah, bit I'm the head off so many bats that now he can actually fly. That was Ozzy. Yeah. He may have done it too. Gene did. <laughs> you don't know. That's how COVID started. That was Ozzy. You know, yeah. I've seen Ozzy in, in concert. No, I've seen Kiss in concert. No, that was Ozzy Smith. Yeah. That's how they call him the wizard. That's, that's how he got his message. Yeah, that's how, how you can do you fucking backflips. <laughs> yeah. You got to bite a bat's head off. Uh, yes. <laughs> all right. Bat, got, bats are just naturally good fielders to the left or right side. Ozzy naturally. Smith, by the way, mm -hmm. guitarist for Black Sabbath. Right. Mm. Next <laughs> one. <laughs> before we fucking run out of time. <laughs> Uh, Jesus, next, how far into this are we? Uh, we're pretty far. Uh, okay. Next, one, next one. She's a nine, but she talks to herself out loud. Still a nine. Yeah, I do that shit. I'm a four, and I'm still a four. Are, I, are you guys I, fucking kidding I have me right now? More fucking conversations with myself. Better conversations yeah. with myself, honestly. Yeah. Than this podcast. If I could record myself in the car, just having com fictitious conversations with people, dude, you'd hear some wisdom. What? I, 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 no, 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 no. This is a six for me. Great. Like, I, I take her down. Because, because well, my, why don't you go find that chick and go talk to her about those it? Those bitches <laughs> are the fuck ourselves. out of me. They do. They just, they, they just, like, they're sitting there and, like, talking. And I'm like, huh? What's uh, going on? And then, and then she's like, no, I was talking to myself. And I'm like, well, then talk to yourself on your fucking head. I'm out. Okay. Moving on. Yeah, boy, I think he's got an anger issue. Boy. No, I do have an anger issue. What's going sure. on with you, yeah, Scotty? Are you okay? Yeah. I know. Yeah. You, you need to get you some We help? can call somebody. Yeah. Hey, anyways, moving on. We can uh, call Emily, <laughs> apparently. Yeah. No, it's okay. Call him for a hug. No, I guess. Yeah. If you're upset, I mean, I've got a pistol you can borrow. No, it's okay. Uh, anyways. Play Russian <laughs> roulette with that semi out of I got, Jeez. I only play Russian roulette with a full clip, though. So, I mean, that's. Yeah. That's you're going to have to play the same way. Yep, that's right. How do you uh, afford that? <laughs> yeah, no shit. Uh, next one, she's a nine, but oh, sorry, my bad. Uh, last one, she's a seven, but she bleaches her butthole. Oh, now she's a nine. Now she's a ten. Now she's she's a fucking ten. Um, who gives a fuck? <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I, I, you spend such a little amount of time looking at her butthole. If she's leading with her butthole in conversations. Then maybe that. Then I'm gonna lures. hire her. I'm well, a, yeah. I'm, I'm, apparently, I mean, apparently yeah, you haven't absolutely. seen that dating show. What if? What if it turns out she is so opposed to anal? I but would be she so just disappointed. Wants to make sure that her asshole looks 
pristine. I know, but if it looks pristine, it's good. <laughs> you want to dance with my ass? Well, yeah. Yeah, I do. And she won't let you fuck it. Oh, no, that's not true. That's not true. If she's bleaching it, It she, is in this scenario, no, you asshole. No, it's not. Because I'm the asshole. woman here. No. And I say you can't. No. No. Right, I, I'm, saying, I, I'm saying that she Jesus wants it. Jesus Christ, you need a new host. Shut up. Um, <laughs> now we get to move on to real shit or horse shit. Uh, any any suggestions that you guys have for this, you can send it to us or send it to us on uh, uh, Instagram, which is at Laughing on the Sidelines, or our TikTok, which is uh, at Laughing on the Sidelines. And as a suggestion to our listeners, even though I realize this is very vague advice, do better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, but anyways, first one. If I drop a chip onto the floor, I will still eat it, even if it's been longer than five seconds. Is it a ketchup chip? <laughs> it's a jalapeno Dorito. Yeah. Okay, yeah, then yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't waste that shit. We were raised to believe you don't waste food. We, I was raised by Native Americans. We use every part of the deer, That's the right. buffalo, and the Dorito. <laughs> I, I used to go to school in Dorito coats. That's how much Dorito skin coats. <laughs> That's what you used to finger paint with Cheeto dust. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, that was, no, don't wash your hands. That's I, art project time. The, the, the only thing is the only finger painting I ever did was Custer's Last Stand. It was, <laughs> it was very odd and hard to bring home. To oh Chief Running God. Water. Uh, Chief Running Water. Yeah. What else, Scotty? Uh, she pays the light bill. I don't know. Did we all say that's real shit? Or yeah, that's real no, shit. it's not real shit to me. Really? Oh, shit. No, if it hits the ground, it's done. Captain Dirty Floor. Oh, mm -hmm. man. Okay, all right. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll make a... Oh, uh, yeah, he won't power wash his concrete. <laughs> oh, that's right. Huh. Uh, <laughs> next one. Holding on to that shit. That's just fucking weird. Yep. Real shit or horse shit? Going out for a beer means two to three beers. A couple of beers means four to six, and a few means I'm getting fucked up. That's horse shit. Going out for a beer means I'm getting fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> all the other numbers are irrelevant. If I said I'm having a beer, I'm having all the beers. <laughs> if, if somebody ever okay. asked me, hey, you want to go out and get a drink, and they leave after a drink, I'm blocking that guy's number. That's, yeah, yeah. that's a fucking psychopath. Yeah, I just blocked off the rest of my evening, you yeah. fucking asshole. And the first part of my morning. I mean, I'm not leaving here. I'm already drinking. Yeah. Because I'm a normal fucking person. I'm safe. Okay. Yeah, I thought yeah. I just had company. Now I got to make friends with some deep-voiced bitch who bleaches her asshole. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in all seriousness. I, I thought we were being serious. No, we're being... We're, yeah. <laughs> we're being very serious. I, I, I meant every word of that. So if somebody texts you and says, hey, man, it's been a minute, and I'd like to have a conversation with you, you want to go out for a beer, what are you thinking? Okay, here's, mm -hmm. here's what that means. Okay, has it literally only been a minute? Because <laughs> if so, then you can take them literally at a drink. Otherwise, if it's been a, a length of time Ten and they plus say years. it's been a minute, then you can assume that it's multiple drinks. Okay, <laughs> that's good. If you get somebody who texts you after seeing them a minute ago, then you got other problems. Correct. Honestly. All right, next one. Um, real shit or horse shit, old yeller made me cry. Uh, horse shit. You're a fucking awful person. Never seen it. Well, then you can't say horse shit. You just say shit. I know the end of it now, so I'm expecting it. So, yeah. no, I'm good. Uh, oh, no, you won't be. No. No. We, we all knew what was going to happen, and yeah. it happened. And it happened. And, yep. Yep. No. I don't know why they show this movie to children. I, I will watch. Okay. I have stopped. I've had to actually conscientiously. I won't watch it anymore. I have had to conscious conscientiously stop watching movies with dogs because that is the inevitable conclusion. That dog's gonna die. Yeah. And I don't I, I stopped with Marley and me. Marley and me, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I don't give a shit how bad that dog was. He didn't deserve to die. Owen Wilson deserved to die. He yep. still does. Yeah. Yep. Still still to this <laughs> still. day. Jennifer wow. Aniston <laughs> deserves to die wow. for being with Owen Wilson in that movie. Wow. But you need to get shot in the fucking head, you piece yeah. of shit. Anyways. They should put a TV show with Jennifer Aniston on. No, I yeah. think that'd be a good idea. Yeah, I think it'd be good. Like, call it friends and stuff. No. What is this? You bring this up a lot. <laughs> no, I don't what know. Is it? 
<laughs> wow, you actually took a comedic cue for once. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, it, it, of course, it made me cry. It was a good fucking comic. Yeah. Uh, I, and, and I picked this one specifically because of Jeremy, because he's older. Um, but other than that, no. I'm not. Oh, y'all are old. <laughs> Does this, no, does, this mean we're gonna, does this mean we're going to shoot Jeremy after the episode's over? <laughs> yeah, that, was, that movie was barely in color. <laughs> it was barely in color. That's why I figured I, that was right in the proxy of your childhood. Is that the plan? Is that why I have to take Jeremy back to my house after this show? <laughs> yeah. Are you going to kill my dog? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta, I'm got. i going to need help. This is going to be a big hole. Yeah. <laughs> and that's a wiener dog. You just don't like digging holes. Yeah, right. But no, it's... it's uh, what was that movie uh, because of Win Dixie uh, uh, with Harlan Williams? Dude. Even it's a uh, little dog, and I'm not a big little dog guy, and it still pissed me off. Fuck the little. Why dogs. can't everybody else die? If you got a Chihuahua, fuck the Chihuahua. But uh, even got, then, no, if it's a good you. Chihuahua, no, fuck you. Because in the I'm, movie, they will make that Chihuahua smart as fuck and adorable. Nope, fuck you. I, I don't, like dogs better than you. That's not a fucking dog. If you can pick the dog up with one hand and throw it across the room to hit the other wall, that's not a fucking dog. Are you trying to say that my dog is not a fucking dog? Because uh, you're, you're right. Uh, I have a wiener dog, and they're not real dogs, but... That's mostly because of his personality. Ah, uh, no. I, I, He's like, got an ugly uh, fucking personality. I don't know. We'll figure that out He's later. a miniature yeah, wiener saying, dog. As though, miniature. as though wiener dogs weren't small enough. Let's, let's shrink this fucker. You're yeah. saying my dog is not a dog. I'm saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Um, yeah, it's not a dog. Yeah. It, it's it's kind of a rat. Oh, sorry. Your dog is tall, <laughs> though. Really, dude? I did it again. I have it's, another one. I, I didn't, no, I didn't. I didn't write it on. Your dog can stand up, and she is fucking tall. Yeah, she is. All right, next Taller one. Scotty, Last sure. one. If my spouse wanted to go uh, do something more adventurous in bed, I'd probably do it if only she would ask. Yeah. Yeah, this is real shit. She has been the limitation on our sex life. She's a fucking anchor is what she is. <laughs> she drags us down, and I don't care if she listens to this. I've been telling her this for 10 years. Um, you're holding me back. That's what it is from, you know, she, she, I don't even think she bleaches her butthole, but I still don't get to go in there. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I have, I had a, a bit that I used to do on stage about the time that a girl put her finger in my butt with, without telling me. <laughs> Some guys like it. Uh, I have no, I have no idea if I like it or not. Uh, what I can tell you is that if you do it and don't tell me first, I'll react like I've been tased by the police. <laughs> Just flop on the ground and cry <laughs> a lot. Uh, cause, cause, and, and I've asked women, why would you do that without asking? And their response <sighs> is always the same, which is, you know, well, what if you say no? Oh my God. Which is how a rapist thinks. You know, I I didn't want to I, I didn't want to give her a chance to say no, so I just held her down and stuck it in before she could say no. I knew she'd never say yes. No, that's that, that really is. Um, if, if a guy tells you no after asking him something adventurous, he's not telling you no. He's saying uh, try again later after I've had a chance to shower, and uh, you know maybe drawn up some non disclosure paperwork. That's what he's saying because that's the biggest thing he's worried about is you telling his buddies. Uh, a guy, a guy will literally let you do anything if it's in the name of sexual adventure. Derek, I'm gonna say horseshit because I draw the line at pegging. You're a uh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> uh, never mind. Okay, that that that's my that's my that's my line that's being drawn. I, I agree. Really? Because why? Why is your fucking screen name Pegasus? <laughs> <laughs> that's three G's. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's because uh, I like the that size boxer of yeah. the dildo. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, no, go ahead. You, you got pegged by the fucking rubber doll in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> you insisted. No, for the most part, like all guys, I think it like like ninety five percent of the things that if you were to ask your your guy what you want to do, we would probably be okay with it ninety five percent of the time. Yes. And, it, and, it, and we would be even, all about it. Even if we're not okay with it, it would just be like, yeah, I'm not into that. As opposed to, what the fuck? No. I yeah, mean, it's yeah, not going to get 
I mean, you ask uh, a lady something where you cross the line, you could drive her away forever. Yeah, because she knows what's in your fucking head. One hundred percent. As a dude, is like, yeah, uh, maybe not, or maybe butter me up first. Yeah. Because a guy also knows this is a give and take. Yeah. If she'll do this to me, then I know she'll let me do that to her. Yep, that's and exactly whatever right. the fuck we're thinking is way worse. Way worse. <laughs> It involves way a birthday worse. cake. Yep, that's right. Okay, now we get to move on to bad advice <sighs> with Jeremy. Jesus which uh, How long are we going? Uh, we're good. going long today, kids, and it's okay. Going long. That's yep. the one thing my wife uh, I won't do. Uh, going long. Go long. Yeah, with I know. Her. Uh, she but, asked me to all the time. No, I'm like, this, nope, no, I'm sorry, <laughs> this, we're this done. Is, this is the opportunity wherever you have a situation that where you want to have the worst advice possible, you can message us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Facebook or uh, Instagram or whatever, and you can send it to us. And this week we have something from a gentleman named Jeremy Hazard, and he writes, Jeremy, yeah. I need advice. My wife and I are expecting a baby, and she wants to throw a gender reveal party. I want to know the gender, as, uh, or sorry, the gender as, uh, as soon as possible. But she doesn't want me to know because she fears I will slip up and accidentally let her know the gender. How should I convince her to let me uh, know the gender before the party? Hang, hang on. I'm sorry. I may have read this question wrong when I first read it. I know. Uh, it, it, okay. It was, it was weird. So, so the wife does not want to know. The wife does not want oh, to know. Oh, I thought she was afraid. She was just going to keep the information to himself nope. or to herself because she was afraid the husband no. was uh, was going to tell other people who might be at the no, party. No, the wife does not want okay. to know the no. Or the wife she doesn't want to no know the no. That's, that's, that's what right. they call butt sex, knowing the right. no. Right, knowing the no. Uh, yeah. Ready? Ready as I'll ever be, I guess. You've heard how well I talk today. Uh-huh. Um, first off, the fact that, that he is willing to uh, do a gender reveal party really rings true to me in the idea that that's one less listener that we really need. <laughs> uh, I could do without this guy. Right. But um, aside from that, convincing your wife uh, that you should know the gender, uh, there are a bunch of different ways to do it. Uh, I can think of at least 50 but I'm going to say at least 45 of them are not going to be good for the baby. Uh, babies don't like it when the mom gets waterboarded or hooked to a car <laughs> battery or drug behind a car or any of that. So we're just going to skip those ways. And um, let's see. Let's go on to my first one here. Uh, threaten that if she doesn't let you find out the gender, that you're going to reveal your gender to everybody who comes to the party. By that, I mean whip out your dick and show everybody. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Um, tell her that it's really not that important to you that you don't care what the gender of the baby is, only the color. Um, let's oh see. My God. Uh, let's see. Uh, let her see you doing some uh, very intense uh, internet searches with uh, black market prices for babies of unknown gender. Um, <laughs> Let's see. Uh, threaten to decide the baby's gender, and the reveal is of no consequence. Um, <laughs> and, and honestly, anybody who comes here, here's the other thing. Uh, insist that everybody who comes to your gender reveal party has to pick a side and root for one or the other. And they have to be angry if, like, if they want boy and it comes up girl, they boo! Fuck girls! They have to be yes. that way. They riot. They riot. I, I mean, this is literally like rooting for a fucking coin flip. Because it's it's going to come up one or the other, and you're on both sides? Fuck you. you got to <laughs> pick a side, or you don't get to come to the party. Fucking team heads all the way here. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and last but not least, um, only buy adult toys for the baby, because you have no idea what to get it at this point. And that way, so now you got your house full of dildos and pocket pussies and anal beads <laughs> and stuff. And uh, if if you start doing that, then apparently I'm guessing that eventually she'll just let you ask the doctor, hey, boy or girl, what is it? And uh, other than that, you know, dude, I really didn't give this much thought. So because uh, this is a dumb fucking question, it's a dumb <laughs> subject, and you're dumb for letting all this happen. So uh, that's my advice. Stop being dumb. <laughs> 
All right. Well, that is uh, bad advice with Jeremy. It sure is. The again, worst. again, if you have any uh, any suggestions or situations that you're in, you can always send it to us at Laughing on the Sidelines at Instagram or TikTok. We we love that shit. And, and by the way, I uh, I just got married. How should I make my marriage work? That's not a fucking question. <laughs> How the fuck should I know? Number one, I'm 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 divorced. Stop, li- we, stop yeah. listening to so many podcasts. Yeah, that that would be a, probably a good step. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, stop being you. Yep, that's true. Yeah, go ahead. Now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. Holy shit, we're taking a long time to get to here, but we got here. Where so, are we at time wise? Uh, we're we're long. Uh, but first, not going to give you an answer ever. I don't think. never. No, no. no. What are you planning to edit? Yeah. Uh, no, you should. Uh, but now Especially that fucking call. Not only that was a fucking dud. Yeah, it was. Uh, uh, <laughs> it wasn't a dud. I love that guy. <laughs> yes. It was way better than anything you've done. Thank you. Um, um, but now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. So first one overrated or underrated throwing mortar shells instead of putting them in the tube. Well, that's overrated. It's not very safe. All right, fucking Fireman Bill, are you fucking serious? Oh, Mister, I like all my fingers, Alders. Are you are you joking me? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Fuck you. No, it's underrated as shit. Just throw it up in the air. It'll blow off. It'll be just fine. Jeremy. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, there's a reason they have a tube for this. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, my, okay. I I have found out. Like if a tube comes with six mortars, there's a reason. If you put a seventh in there, <laughs> they're not made for that. And uh, that will burn holes in your shirt if you're standing too close. It's it's basically an incendiary bomb going off <laughs> at ground level. Uh, can I tell you a story about, once again, our good buddy, Yoga Matt? Fuck uh, it. Let's go. In, in his neighborhood, in, in, in his most recent neighborhood, it, everybody there was like 4th of July crazy. Fireworks crazy. They used to like bolt mortar tubes down to like a big piece of plywood and yeah. they would just go find whatever. Yeah, I do one. that shit. <sighs> Sorry, Matt. Uh, you're going to have to stop doing that. Um, Scotty does it and it's not wise. But uh, at the end of the night, they just sweep everything into a big pile and start it all on fire. And uh, one year, uh, Matt found a, an unexploded mortar shell and just threw it into the fucking fire. <laughs> and I'm going to say... I don't know, a minute later, it just blew. And the guy who was sweeping shit up, his kids were there. And the guy blamed it on his fucking kids. And, <laughs> and Matt just stood by and let this guy tear his kids into fucking asshole. And it was the most wonderful thing I've ever seen. That blew, that actually burned a couple of holes in my my authentic K-State uh, Tyler Lockett football oh, jersey. No and it way. was worth it seeing those kids get their fucking ass ripped. I, I don't give a shit about your kids. All right, next one. Overrated or underrated? A double amputee doing the moonwalk in prosthetics. Oh, that's overrated as well. What the fuck is wrong with you? Their legs are better than our legs. Yeah, you're cheating. <laughs> yeah. You're not allowed to even be in the regular Olympics with fake legs. They test them. That, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's like using a fucking font to write calligraphy on fucking word <laughs> processor. Yeah. That's a fucking robot doing that shit, not uh, you. Wait a minute now. We're not talking like actually walking on the moon, are we? No. Because that would be fun. No. So would you be up there? Because weight's a big problem. I think it's impressive as fuck. I think that's underrated as the, hell. The moonwalk just by itself is impressive as yes. fuck, but not near so much by a robot. Oh, come on. No, no. They, they What's fig- more impressive is the person dancing like a robot. They've figured it out. Oh, that's, they, that's they, amazing. They've been yeah. able to figure it out with knowing that they don't have legs to make it look like they're doing the moonwalk. You've been outvoted, Scotty. It sucks shit. Oh, Go man. on. Fuck off. All We're right. running along, apparently. Yeah, we are. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Stay at home moms. Overrated again. This Absolutely. No shit. <laughs> those most only for four years and then that fifth year, those kids are at school. So now oh. and the, it's always they got those cute signs. It's wine o'clock. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No thanks. Live, laugh, love, guys. Mm-hmm. This is so overrated, it's not even fucking close. Uh I 
I would love to switch jobs with you if you are a uh, stay-at-home mom. Are you serious, Scotty? Because being a mom is the hardest job in the world. That's the biggest load of horse shit I've ever heard in my entire fucking life. Let me get you a fucking survey card and pay you accordingly to your fucking survey. I'm trying I'm, to. I'm uh, out. I'm trying to be a stay-at-home dad, but we don't have kids, so it's yeah. been a uh-huh. pretty testy argument. I want to be a stay-at-home just dad. Just fucking do it. Yeah, let, that's what I'm thinking about doing it anyway. Let me be a stay-at-home it. dad, please. Uh, Jim? What? Overrated or underrated? I mean, if they're decent moms, but the problem with most stay-at-home moms is that they forget to mom. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, if it's three thirty in the afternoon and you're still in your fucking pajamas, uh, you probably didn't really work that day. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, when you see, I, I saw a video the other day of a kid in a doctor's office waiting room, just disrespecting the fuck out of his mom. Kid was probably five or six. Mom still in fucking pajamas, and it's like. If you don't really have any respect for yourself, how do you expect a kid to respect you? Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I have seen kids these days, and so, yeah, stay-at-home moms today really ain't doing the best job. Correct. I agree with you 100% and moving on. However, if you do your job right, you're doing great. Yep. Next one, overrated or underrated, shooting Tannerite. I'm going overrated again. What the fuck is wrong with you? I I don't give a shit about explosions. I just don't. I got better shit to spend my money on. Jeremy? I'm sorry, Derek, but see, you're, you're wrong. You're uh, so probably. fucking wrong. Um, Tannerite is a, is, a, is a remarkable thing. Uh, fuck yeah, let's go! The, the bullet needs to be traveling at at least like 2,200 feet per second. So you need a high-powered speed, a high powered rifle for this. Uh, pistol won't do it. So you can't do it at close range. And it is the most satisfying thing in the world to hit a target with a bullet from long range away and then to fucking do it. And make shit explode. It's, it. I don't know why it is, and, and I've said this before on this podcast. For men, things blowing up is the funniest thing in the fucking world. Especially if you have it like on, like on a fucking watermelon or something. It will make that shit explode. Like there's, there's no reason tannerite should be fucking legal. No, it, it is basically a bomb that you can detonate from a quarter mile away if you're a good enough shot. It's a firework from far away. It's not a firework. It's a fucking bomb. It'll blow up a car if you get enough of it. It will. I have five pounds of undetonated tannerite in my fucking gun safe at home. Okay. And uh, when you get back from what you're doing tonight, Scotty, you're probably not going to be able to sell this place. No. Because me and Derek, I brought the guns. Tannerite! uh, The fuck out of this house. Me and Derek are going to take some target practice. It's 4th of July. (laughs) Yep. Uh, last but not USA! USA! All right, last but not least, overrated or underrated? Being frozen in carbonite with a raging erection. That's not a real thing, Scotty. Oh, no, come on. Uh, like, let's uh, play, uh, play along. Carbon? No, let's play along. Carbonite? No, I mean, no, 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 no. Let's play along. Let's play along with the game. Play the game. Play the fucking game. So you are the Emperor's Prize. Uh-huh. This means you have to be a Jedi. Correct. Uh... I'm going to be honest. I'm going to say underrated just because my ability to get erections at this point is not what it used to be. <laughs> so if I can go through that kind of a stress level and have a raging heart on, I'm happy with Correct. whatever situation I'm in. Right. That's okay. how Clona Willies are made, by the way. Well, Carbonite. Derek? Well, this sounds like Star Wars related mm, shit. It is. So overrated. Yeah, <sighs> I can't. I fucking you get a fucking Star laser sword, dude. I Come hate on, Star bro. Wars. No. All right, fine. Still time to save a hand. Yeah, he's the only guy who pronounces it hand. Yeah, uh, this is over or this is underrated as shit. Uh, I think it'd be hilarious. That'd be a nice little coat rack. I think. I, I mean, like little coat rack uh, for you if you get at frozen. your height. What fucking coat isn't going to drag the ground? It's a midget's coat, but fuck off, you piece of shit. The munchkin dicks can use yeah. it. Munchkin, Munch, uh, thank munchkins you. can okay. do it. Okay. Lollipop kill. Now, now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. This is uh, this is Jeremy's favorite. Are we going part. long this episode? A little bit. Okay. This is I didn't Jeremy. Know we hadn't talked about it much. <laughs> this is Jeremy's favorite part of every single episode. This is questions and preguntas. Again, if you have any suggestions, you can send it to us at, at laughing on the sidelines on Instagram or TikTok. Uh, first question. First question. Uh, I think. Uh, what, which one are we doing? 
Uh, oh, uh, uh, what is a common compliment that you always receive? Oh, we're doing this one. Yeah, we're doing that. That's one. the second one on my list. Okay, good because I, I was wanting to make sure because yeah, I, yeah, I thought, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. What is a common compliment that you always receive? Uh, people always seem to like it when I leave a room. So oh, I, fuck I, I, would, I would say that. You're such when I, a when I go away. You're yeah. such a fucking pessimist. It pisses me <laughs> off. You make everybody happy whenever you walk into a room, you piece of shit. That's when I leave a room. No, Boy, these insults you, sure aren't helping his self esteem. Oh, yeah. Scotty, you, Jesus! Oh, quit being You're a pessimist. horrible friend. No, I'm saying I'm trying to build him up here. Well, take your fucking sunglasses off when you do that. Okay. So he thinks you're sincere. <laughs> Just get him off and break the fucking sunglasses. Off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jeremy. Uh, well, you didn't fuck that one up too bad. I didn't. I No, that's a compliment that I get most often. <laughs> Just if I didn't destroy something, I, I apparently did good. I was also once told I could fuck up a wet dream, so I think that's pretty talented. Yeah, yeah you that's true. You couldn't get true. laid in a morgue. Uh, yeah. that, was, that was always fun. And, mm -hmm, and yeah. I was like, can too. And <laughs> then you prove them wrong. Mm -hmm. that's I took video of it. Once they had camera phones. Mm -hmm. It's nice. I, I, get, I normally get Talking told... Talking about fucking dead bodies, Scotty. I know. I get it. Okay. Uh, I normally get told that I got a big dick, so it's cool. Uh, yeah, but not with you. Who? Huh? Not with you. No, all yeah. the time. I have... Yeah, it's uh, not with you. No, it's huge, Derek. Yeah, it's just not with you here right no, now. No, no. It's, it's always with me. I have a huge dick. That's a banana in your pocket. No, it's uh, a real dick. Banana. Mushed up, fucking warm ass banana. Yes. I swear yeah. to God, I'm going to wait until you fall asleep and I'm going to put it on your fucking forehead. After you get done fucking that chimpanzee. <laughs> or, <laughs> or he gets done fucking you, whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> whatever you're into. Uh, yeah, if your wife asks about it, yeah, she'll right. let you do it. Yeah, yeah he's adventurous. Uh huh. Uh, next one, this is actually from a fan. This is at Blazeballs53. He wants to know blank. The worst place to hide something. You know, I'm going to have to go with the freezer. Because uh, a few years back, uh, I hid the winner. I used to hide my money in the freezer. Uh -huh. And I hid uh, fantasy football winning for uh, one of the guys that won our league like five or six years ago in the freezer. And said freezer went out. So I bought oh. an, or said refrigerator with the freezer went out. So I bought a new one. And when they hauled the old one off, I forgot there was money in there. Oh. So I had to pay that out of my own pocket. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. So, Are you serious? Is this the year yeah. I won? Uh, no. This I'm is not giving it back. Two years before you won. All right. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go with the fucking freezer. Okay. Right. I'm going to go with, are you sure you haven't paid me yet? Because this was about five years ago, you didn't exist. I don't know. Yeah. It's been two years yeah, in a row exist. where I have He's won. Not, not just you weren't I in the just, league, you didn't exist. I yeah. just wanted to make sure that after two years, I've won Do you in know a anybody? row. Do you know that anybody I, that wants to be in the fantasy football league, by the way? This year? <laughs> I know a lot of people. <laughs> we got to skip Dude, I, got, I got a waiting list of people. I, if they can host a podcast, they can fucking be oh, in the fantasy Oh, yeah, oh, they're in. Buddy. They're in. You Fuck know what? You. No. Fuck you. He's got Fuck to be in the league. Fuck you. to beat him. Yeah. Just He's get come in and get a super team. That's yeah. all I'm asking. But you can't beat me because I'm the back to back. Sorry, champ. we don't spend our fucking months and sometimes years leading up to the draft doing simulated drafts. We have yes, yeah, puss to fuck and whatnot. <laughs> yeah. This this is true. we have straight things to do. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna go with uh, yeah. That 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 would be my uh, uh, rock hard cock. That would be what I would go with, Jeremy. What? What? I, I didn't even... Uh, a compliment. The compliment that I He did. He yeah, already did we, it. we already did that. Oh, we're I'm talking sorry. about worst places. Are you hiding things in your rock hard cock? Maybe. It, <laughs> I got to think it's hard to I'm pretty sure. Hard. I'm pretty Maybe. sure it's the question. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty sure. Uh, but now... Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay Dude, fine. I, I, I would love to lose my phone in your dick. <laughs> fine. Just uh, shove it up in there. Moving on. It. Now we get to get to grocery store pickup do, do lines. Do I not get to do a pick? Uh, what? You, you, said, you said, the well, you sure didn't fuck that up too bad. Yeah, I know. You were moving we're, on. We're, we're looking at worse things, worse places to hide things. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, you're right. What is, uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, worse places to hide things. Go I don't ahead. have anything. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got no answer for this. I mean, there's a low no, hanging any, fruit. Any place that my wife can find it, because she's going to put it somewhere else. <laughs> okay, probably in her ass. Yeah, that's but right. um, no, it's it's a uh, it, it, if if I can hide something and she knows if she's in on the hiding of it, 
it won't be there. Where she's not no. gonna like go get rid of it or anything. She's just gonna put it someplace where I don't know where it is. And when I need it, she's gonna be somewhere where I can't get a hold of her. And she's probably gonna tell one of her friends. No, she won't. Oh, really? I don't allow her to have friends. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next one. Not until she tells me the fucking gender of that baby. Okay, fine. <laughs> next one. Uh, grocery store pickup lines. Uh, I would say, ex- excuse me, miss. I have seemed to have misplaced my shopper's card. Would you like to fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's that's always mm-hmm. worked. It's pretty solid for yeah. me. Yeah, sure is. Well, you can do that really you, with anything in a card. I see you like peanut butter. Would you uh, care to fuck? Yeah, and, 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 and it doesn't work. And I mean, you get consent right there. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. You don't even have. It's it's out of the way. Uh-huh. Uh huh. She says it right into your phone because yeah. I record every conversation. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Right? That's yeah. that's pretty close. Mm-hmm. That's pretty close to what I got. I got I got uh, nice cock. Want to fuck, Jeremy? That's what you say to them. Yep. Uh, that makes a lot of sense now. <laughs> Do you use the Crisco? Are you offering to thigh fuck? <laughs> yeah, nice. Um, no, I I just, uh, can you believe how small the cucumbers and plums are in this place? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Nice, I love how it. How disappointing is produce these days? Want to fuck? Yeah, I'm sitting there like, like, like. It, the, it has to end with that. That's the only yeah, way I know how to way end. You can do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, look at all the eyes on this potato. Want to fuck? So <laughs> romantic. You know where we're going. Look yeah. at the pickles. They're mm-hmm. so small. What in the fuck is the deal? I think this lettuce is turned. Want to fuck? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I want to get out of here till they get some fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. You know, there was an E. coli recall on spinach. Want to fuck? Mm-hmm. I'll give ne- you a disease. Next I'll one. I'll give you a way better disease. Yeah. <laughs> After Googling all of my symptoms, it turns out that I probably have blank. A sprained fallopian tube. <laughs> really? Uh-huh. Dude. I think I sprained it. That's a Canadian thing. That, that you is probably a got it up thing. there. Yeah, that, that is. I think I slept wrong. Probably. Yeah. yeah. In Canada. Uh-huh. <laughs> you slept metrically. And That's right. That they fuck all that shit up. I got a real one here. Great. Dwarfism. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that fits. Yeah. I, or, I, I'm going to say that that's probably the most accurate thing that I could pick. Or, or unimpressiveness. Or, uh, fuck you. There's, there's all kinds of things fuck you got. Fuck you. I mean, honestly. Uh, yeah, fine. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead and go, Jeremy. What? What's the question again? Remind me. What is the fucking question? (laughs) I Googled all of my symptoms, and it turns out that I probably have blank. So I just put them into Google? Yeah. Uh, Big black cock. Uh, That that tends to be the first thing that comes up. (laughs) Of course it does. Yeah. Every time. All right. Last Uh, one. The other thing is chlamydia. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Have I told that story? Nope. Yeah, uh, yes, yes, you get it on yes, an airplane. Yes, yes, you have. Yeah, I got it on an airplane. I got the clap. Yep. Uh, last one. John Adams chose the eagle to be the national animal in 1776, but in 2022, the new animal should be the blank. The dung beetle, because right now we're just rolling shit uphill. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's pretty accurate. I got a good one for this. Huh. It's a female dog. It's a female, sh- like, small dog is what I've got. Because they are going to yip, yip the fuck out of everybody. They're going to talk a lot of shit and not do anything. And whenever you question them, they're going to sit there and just cower like a little bitch. So that's mine. It's going to be the chihuahua, the female chihuahua. You remember when bitch. you started off this statement with, I got a pretty good one? I did have a good uh, one, but what, I fucked what it up. What happened? What the I, fuck I happened? I fucked it up. I'm sorry. Yeah, you did on fucking Independence Day. I know. Right? God damn it. Go ahead and go, Jeremy. Uh, can I? May I? Yeah, you can. Amy Schumer. Amy Schumer. Yeah. <laughs> Because cause no matter how big of a fucking piece of shit that we make of the world, uh, everybody just thinks we're great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. But ladies and gentlemen, now that is it. We get to get on to our favorite part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Laughing on the Sidelines draft. And as usual, I came in last place. Yeah, you did. Way in last. Fuck you guys. You came in the back I door. had excellent fucking arcade games, and that's bullshit. Suck time tit. Oh, that's that's such bullshit. I had excellent picks. Loser. Okay, fine. Um, uh, but since apparently uh, the people didn't seem to think so, the uh, they're wrong. As I've said so many times, our listeners are fucking smart. Dude. They are. They <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, dude, I have nothing but the utmost respect for the people who waste their fucking time downloading <laughs> and listening to this bullshit. Uh, Especially the people who watch it on fucking YouTube. Uh, I know when there's so much. Even when it's TV, shitty feed. I can't imagine they actually did, did they? Uh, no, I, I maybe. I don't know. I don't know what our... I, I don't know. But in all seriousness... Oh, by the way, there was somebody who wrote in to us uh, uh-huh. who asked, uh, wanted an update on how many listeners we get oh. and, and how many downloads we get. Thousands. And I can say it's approximately none of your fucking business, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah. Don't fucking worry about it. You That's just true. You listen and shut the fuck up. That's true. How about that? Okay. Now we get to move on to our draft, cool. which uh, I, I apparently came in last place, but Derek wasn't here. So uh, Derek gets first pick this week. I get the sandwich picks. And then Jeremy somehow, somehow won the draft. A- am I in first place right now? Because me and uh, Fred been jockeying back and forth. That's true. But uh, last I saw, we were tied. Yeah, I know. No, it was you. I mean, Which is weird because you're the only one who's the size of a jockey. <laughs> this is true. Yeah, I know. Uh, but now this week's uh, draft is going to be the worst medication side effects. And so, yeah. <laughs> uh, like prescription medication? Yeah, prescription the... medication right. side effects. Um, and uh, Derek gets the first pick, and if he didn't pick the goddamn 101, I don't know who will. Go ahead and go, Derek. Uh, a painful, permanent erection. Oh, no! Oh, you that really is, you left, yeah, you left you, it wide open for You Scott. left it wide I open did. for me! But this sounds miserable. Uh, Could it's, you imagine fucking in pain? It's a hurt dick? It is uh, a variety of med- medications can lead to it. Uh-huh. Uh, it may be caused by antidepressants like trazodone, fluoxetine, cert- something, li- and lithium. I have taken uh, fluoxetine, and I can tell you this a little bit about it. Um, while it does not keep you from getting an erection, and while my erections were not painful, you cannot come. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, which sounds like fun for a minute. And then it's like... Come on. <laughs> what? I, I know by this point I should be done. Oh, wow. I'm running out of fucking steam. Okay. Okay. Um, and she's been ready to be done since we started. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and pick the uh, number one answer, which is anal leakage. Love that. Yeah. If you, <laughs> if you got anal, anal leakage. anal leakage. If you know me, I'm on team anal leakage. <laughs> 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 I, if it was a cartoon, I'd watch it. That's right. Uh, Jeremy, you get one and two, sir. Uh, okay. Death. Um, <laughs> that is, the, for almost every medication, that is a potential side effect. Yes, Death. that is true. That, uh, fuck, that's a great one. That is a great one. Jeremy just won the draft. Uh, but anyways, your second pick, go ahead. I, okay. I know you've done uh, anal leakage. Mm-hmm. Anal bleeding. Oh. Yeah, that was going to be my other one. Okay. All right. Because why? What if that's how you <laughs> died? You just bled out of you your just ass? just bled out of your I'm, ass? I, I don't know if it was necessarily blood loss, but I know it was basically anal strain that killed Elvis. Is it really? Yeah, he died on the toilet. I know he died on the toilet, but did he like it? Oh. out of poop. It was uh, basically uh, opioid-induced uh, constipation. No, I'll be goddamn. Yeah, shit his guts out. Uh, I'm gonna go with hallucination. That's fun. It's yeah. it's that's not bad at all. You make sandwiches. You, you <laughs> make you make apple turnovers. <laughs> you just throw a turnover into the fucking microwave. You fucking make dessert for your whole family. You become useful. That's what that does. <laughs> By the way, uh, this. This is probably going to fall still in line with mine, but uh, it says Viagra can cause a serious amputation. Oh, to no where shit. sometimes they actually have to amputate your mm. penis. Oh, okay. nice. 
So I don't know so if you're you, sticking with the boner problem. So you're going to go with the amputation Can, does that, penis? Does that count? I don't give a shit. Priapism, basically, yeah, that's uh, that's, that's one of the potential side effects what's from this? a priapism. Is that's that what that priapism. Yeah, priapism. Yeah. That's the same thing with the mind. So a, let's not a count medi- that. Medically induced four hour or longer erection. I think that's the same exact thing as okay. what I did. So we'll okay. keep that. All right. This, all right. I got so that one. Priapism is what it is. Yep. That's uh, what it is. So let's go with uh, ew. I'm going to go with. <laughs> Uh, suicidal thoughts. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. God damn it. That was actually one of mine. And no, well, no, you got priapism. I got that, that was, was that was my one, first one. We're on the comeback. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. So I'm going to say suicidal thoughts and hmm, that sounds awful. Nightmares and vivid dreams. Okay. Okay. Certain Alzheimer's medications will cause that. God damn it. As will aspirin, but maybe that's just me. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't like being in the middle. I hate it. Um, no, I don't want that. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm, I've got something. I don't, I don't know what, it, what, it, what it's like, but I'm going to go with memory loss. Okay. I think that's a good one. Jeremy, you get two, dude. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> only two, huh? Yeah, you only get two. Um, well, blood clots, of uh, course. Uh, okay, okay, we got blood clots first. Some of these are so fucking vague. Okay, I know, I know, I know, I know, but give it to me. I'm going to once I, know. I fucking Come find on. out. God, that one sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, severe blisters and peeling skin. Okay, yeah, blisters. All right, that's a good one. Don't you dare take five. You're up next. You I it. know, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go with it. Uh, I'm going to go with cancer. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go with cancer. As my fourth pick, let's go. You, you know your last two. I know. Okay. Um, Don't fuck it up. I'm not picking this one, but one one side effect they have in here, which I kind of want to start taking this drug, uh, blue urine. Oh, geez. <laughs> oh, no shit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What do we have to do to take it? And tell everybody you're just pissing Maui. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm pissing blue curacao. Mm-hmm. Yeah. God damn it. Now my your fucking Wi-Fi won't let load anything. What's with your fucking Wi-Fi, Scotty? Go fix it. I don't yeah. know. My Wi-Fi is working perfectly fine for my phone. Just go fix it. Nah, it's okay. I, I kind of I kinda keep it the way it is. Come on. Just fucking fix it. Yeah, come on. God damn it. Come on, Derek. I'm trying, but come nothing's on. loading. Come on. Look. One. That's where I'm at. Pick that one. Yeah, yeah. pick that one. Yeah. Everydayhealth.com. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, You're, that one's the one. You, you have this intense need to look yeah. shit up on the internet. Yeah, that's it. Okay, I, I got it up here if you want to. Yeah, let me see what you got because I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Here it finally fucking loaded. Okay. Okay. God, that's on there too. I'm going blue urine. <laughs> okay, you're going blue urine. Yes. Okay. I'm going to go with the blue urine. Okay. Uh, and... Ooh. One more. One more. Hmm. Everything says priapism. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> That's just a bad fucking side effect. That's a bad thing to have. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's terrible. You know what? Let's go with... Uh, Come on. Don't, don't take mine. Where'd it go? Don't birth do defects. It. Yes! Okay. All right. Birth defects. I got it. Okay. Birth defects. Okay, I'm going to go with autism. That's a birth defect, kind of. No, it's not. No, no, it's its own thing. You know how much better you would be if you were autistic? I know. It what would do you be mean, amazing. if? If? Are you fucking kidding me? No, I am autistic. I think he's on the spectrum. No, autistic, I'm on the spectrum. Autistic people are fucking bearable. Oh. Uh, you're just... I am. You're I, just, I am. I am you're autistic. You're autistic. You're obnoxious. Okay. That's uh, what I <laughs> Fair enough. Yep, I am autistic. 
Uh, okay, this one is uh, for acne medications like tetracycline and uh, ciprofloxacin, uh, which is an antibiotic, or levofloxacin. Uh, your nails falling off. Oh yeah. shit! That was one of mine. That was on there that too. Just seems like it would suck. Because oh, you kind of do a lot of shit with your hands. Chemotherapy mm-hmm. does that too. Hair loss is another one. Have you seen those well, people that get born? Nails and don't? hair are basically made of the same shit. Have mm-hmm. you seen people that get born with no nails or hair? Why would I see those people, I Scotty? Don't know. I'm not. Funny? I'm not looking for that. That's I, Jeremy's I, random Google searches all the time. Listen, yeah. you you fucking either come out right or you don't come at all. <laughs> okay. If you're coming, enough. you better come correct. That's correct. where I'm at with that. Uh, you fucking. Born motherfuckers. <laughs> All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is our draft for this week's episode. You can vote for which uh, list is your favorite by uh, selecting the corresponding emoji with us on uh, laughing on the sidelines uh, at Facebook or Facebook.com uh, slash laughing on the sidelines. Uh, do us a favor and vote for that. We would sincerely appreciate it. But now we get to get on to our favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week okay ladies and gentlemen this is our laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week brought to you by fanger bang beer and legos that's right scotty uh in the early 1980s the uh, soviet union invaded the country of afghanistan who at the time were allies of the united states it was a very precarious uh, situation to which the uh, U.S. could not uh, risk having a land war with the Soviets, uh, otherwise risk having it erupt into a potential nuclear war. Um, so we kind of just had to stay back and see how things went out. Um, basically, on November 3rd of 1982, however, uh, the Soviets kind of fucked themselves when two military convoys approaching from completely different directions entered the very narrow tunnel of uh, the uh, Salang Tunnel, they call it. It basically comes... Salang. Salang. Um, it, it basically goes down to uh, one lane from each side, and being military convoys, they decided to take their half out of the middle. Uh, what resulted was a head-on collision between two convoys, both carrying very high explosives. Uh, that's not good, in case you're wondering. Uh, the result was one of the uh, worst... Uh, road fires in the history of the world oh. uh yeah um the soviets of course were very secretive with their numbers but uh it's believed that an estimated between 2700 and 3000 people lost their lives in this thing because it certainly caught up with a lot of uh, civilian traffic as well uh it more or less just turned this entire tunnel into a huge fucking fireball and uh, now your child can recreate the magic of that moment using nothing but a little imagination and legos legos das bendanya <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we got a great uh, shitty situation for you guys this week. Um, uh, Derek, you know what it is? No, I have no idea. No? I forgot. Fuck. Uh, Jeremy? Yeah. Uh, Do you know what it is? I'm going to be honest with you. I forgot we were doing a fucking podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously. This is taking so goddamn long. I know. Why? I know. Is is it after? Is it July 5th yet? Yeah. It's cl- I mean, it, it pretty much is. But this is actually, yeah. we are recording this date of release. This fucking thing has gone on so long. Right. Uh, but do you remember? Nunley's not even on fucking TikTok anymore. I know. That's how long it's been. <laughs> it's all. He's on the offshoot now. Yeah, he's on the offshoot. He sure he is. Yeah. Talk yeah. dick. Uh-huh. Yeah, talk dick. Talk dick. <laughs> it's where you just talk into your penis. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, so, anyways, go ahead. Is this thing on? Yeah, <laughs> yeah no shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you want me to do it? Yeah, go for it. Okay. You just want me to come up with something on the spot? Yeah, on the spot. All right, let's say, uh, you know, if uh, you bring home your paycheck and you realize you have no bills coming out of that paycheck, that week and it is july 4th weekend which is fucking weird that you wouldn't have any bills coming out of the first paycheck of the month but if in case that ever happened uh would you rather blow your entire paycheck on a bunch of little fucking fireworks that really don't do anything and nobody gives a shit about or one great big firework that may level your block (laughs) god 
Neither for me. I, I mean, it lasts a minute and a half, but can, it's going to be not, spectacular. Can we, can we opt out of this? Uh, I don't give a fuck what you do. Yeah, go uh, ahead. Okay, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm opting out. Fair enough. Keep laughing, assholes. <laughs> I'm going to go. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> go ahead, Derek. Go ahead, Derek. I guess just to get it over with, I'll go with the big one. Sure. <laughs> just get it to fuck over yeah. with. I don't really, I can't imagine anything more horrible than fucking watching a smoke bomb for five hours. So let's just get it done. I got better shit to do. I don't think I have ever been more annoyed in my entire life than the time some people out in my cul-de-sac lit a 5,000 pack of firecrackers. <laughs> And it is cool for <laughs> the first minute. Uh, I Fifteen minutes before. later, it is not near so cool. Oh, it's it is, cool as shit. It is just shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> I, it, it made me hate cats. I know. That's that's how much I fucking hated that. And I'm pretty sure that they regretted doing it as well because I think they thought it was going to go a lot faster than it did. But 5,000 individual small explosions, that's like sitting there on, on a three-hour trip with, with a sibling just them poking you just did, the whole fucking time. That's all that is. Can I, have, can I ask a question? Nope. Did, did you no, go, I would did, rather you didn't. Did you go full Karen? On the inside, yeah. <laughs> oh, I, really? I, I stayed in my house. Oh, uh, no. Fuck those people. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had forgotten about them. And this was like four or five years ago, and I'm just furious with them. <laughs> and the fact that they're still allowed in my neighborhood pisses me off. Fuck them. Fuck them. All right. Well, that is our episode for uh, uh, this week. What, what's your What choice? was yours? Oh, no. I, I Of course. I, I don't know that anybody's actually really picked. Have they? Oh, yeah, I picked the giant one. You picked the giant one. Yeah, okay. I'd rather just, fucking just okay. get it over with. All right. I totally picked the little ones. Well, I know you were showing enthusiasm for them. Yeah. That just shows how small-minded you are. No, fuck and you. Little, I want the tiny... little ones. I want a whole bunch of times. It's, it's like you, you no. want firecrackers that match your pants. <laughs> <laughs> just tiny little ones. Just, just the little guys. No, I want the little guys. I want the little... Why? Why? Why not? Now, I am going to be honest with you here. Uh, More time. Which, which this whole podcast, I've been fucking lying. But now I'm going to be honest. Uh, okay, growing up, when we got, like, your parents would give you a little bit of money, you could go down to the firecracker stand, and you could buy shit. Leading up to the 4th of July, it was all, all the little shit, right? Mm -hmm. And then on the 4th of July, all your high-flying, booming shit that made noise and fucking bright lights and all that shit. That was for 4th of July, right? There are people lighting off fucking mortars and shit in my neighborhood, like, as of Wednesday. Uh -huh. This last Wednesday. Oh, yeah. That is not what that Wednesday is for. <laughs> yeah. Nobody celebrates, you know, fucking June 29th. I mean, oh, that was the time. The, it's all the way through August 1st, right. man. They were, <laughs> they were so still debating whether or not to sign the Declaration of Independence <laughs> on, on June 9th. That should be a day of indecision where you're not sure whether you should light this or not, so just go ahead and air with not. That's what that should be. They only had three three rights in the Bill of Rights <laughs> they, on yes. June 29th. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they had to make up other shit. Yes. So... I, I I generally wouldn't say this, but I'm I'm going to. Um, I I I appreciate what you said about about, about what battle corn. No. Or, oh, oh. Okay. About when you should yes shoot off fireworks. Yes, July Fourth has a specific meaning. You should celebrate that. Right. Um, I do have a dog. I have a dog that is extremely in the fireworks. <laughs> He's, He's scared, dude. He uses up so much fucking money. Your goddamn dog is out there with his punk every night, holding it in his teeth, right? Lighting fucking <laughs> lighting jumping jacks, <laughs> right? I want more tanks. Yeah, no, no <laughs> bullshit. He he is so terrified of pyre, fireworks. It is it is so fucking difficult. And that's not a real dog. He he has <laughs> he has uh, cost me multiple thousands of dollars uh, with putting in new floors because he tears up carpet and shit. He's not lying. He, I'm not lying. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> I like no, no, I'm not. I like that he tore down a light switch. <laughs> that's yeah. my favorite. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck you, electricity. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, Goddamn dimmer switch making all that noise. 
<laughs> I, I I'm not, and I'm not going to bitch about it, and I never would. But in all seriousness, if you're lighting off fireworks, uh, just be be conscious with the people that are living in the houses around you. That's it. Or maybe that, get a real fucking dog. One of the two. Fuck off. Yeah, I think that's the way to do it. <laughs> He's a real my, dog. No, He's just a piece, piece of shit yeah. dog. He's scared my dog of loud weighs, noises. Not a real dog. My, my dog weighs 11 fucking pounds, and he gets pissed off at fireworks, like barks at him, wants to fight him. Yeah. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much. We sincerely do appreciate it. Thank you uh, from the bottom of my heart. Uh, we still have the link out to uh, buy tickets to our live show. Yes. Uh, there, there are seats still available, but not many. Plugs. Don't forget plugs. I yeah. actually have something to plug. Like okay. butt plugs or what? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Have yeah. you ever heard that fucking prank phone call? Uh-uh. Where the guy calls the auto parts store and he, uh, butt plugs? <laughs> uh, let me get you back to auto parts. And then they answer the phone. Yeah, parts. Butt plugs? <laughs> <laughs> you want you want spark plugs? Butt plugs. <laughs> and he won't say anything other than butt plugs. And, I'm not sure what you're referring to, and it just butt plugs, butt plugs, butt plugs, and and the guy goes, yeah, I guess I'm not sure what you're talking about, butt plugs. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I guess we don't have it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> but I mean, it goes on for like five minutes of him saying nothing but butt plugs, uh, and it's wonderful. Derek, do you have any? Happy fucking, birthday, America! Any, yeah, no shit. Do you have any uh, shows coming up? Yes, uh, uh, the 21st to the 23rd, I will be here at the Looney Bin in Wichita. There you go. So, uh, Jeremy? I do, actually, believe it or not. July the 15th, I am a part of our good buddy Jeremy. Holy shit! This is actually a real show! Yeah, a, a, a real... I'm going to be on a stage with a microphone, sort of. Uh, is Jeremy Rush, our good buddy Jeremy Rush. Who Discount has, Jeremy. Uh, who Discount has, Jeremy. Who has peed on this show before many times. Um, <laughs> and shit all uh, over it. And, and Yeah, yeah, he's a great guy. Uh, I'm going to be doing his storyteller show at the Looney Bin here in Wichita. Uh, it's a midnight show, I believe, on uh, Friday uh, July the 15th. So if you want to hear me tell some stories that maybe I haven't told on the air before, come on out. Guys. I got stories. Uh, yeah, he, you got stories for days. <laughs> Jeremy has stories story. for days. He's actually writing children's books now. I am. Yeah. Seems there were three bears, guys. Why and, uh, haven't you started doing that? Like uh, Children's stories. Come on, man. Get off my ass, guy. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll fuck you up. <laughs> That's anyways, why. That's why I don't write children's <laughs> books. Thank you, guys. Everything that you do, I sincerely do appreciate it. We sincerely appreciate it. And as always, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us... We hope you take a half a bottle of prednisone. <laughs> Side effects include headache, dizziness, difficulty falling asleep or staying asleep, inappropriate happiness, extreme changes in mood, changes in personality, bulging eyes, acne, thin, fragile skin, red or purple blotches or lines under the skin, slowed healing of cuts and bruises, increased hair growth, changes in the way fat is spread around the body, extreme tiredness, weak muscles, irregular absent menstrual periods, decreased sexual desire, heartburn, increased sweating, vision problems, eye red or eye pain, redness or tearing. Sore throat, fever, chills, cough, or other signs of infection, seizures, depression, loss of contact with reality, confusion, muscle twitching or tightening, <laughs> shaking of the hands that you cannot control, numbness, burning, or tingling in the face, arms, legs, feet, or hands, upset stomach, vomiting, lightheadedness, irregular heartbeat, sudden weight gain, shortness of breath, especially during the night, dry hacking cough, swelling or pain in the stomach, swelling of the eyes, face, lips, tongue, throat, arms, hands, feet, ankles, or lower legs, difficulty breathing or swallowing, rash, hives, and itching. <laughs> And if you don't like us... What about anal leakage? <laughs> Tell your enemies. And until next time, kids... Go fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> and until next time... Keep laughing, asshole. We will see y'all later. Take care. <laughs>